How's it going everyone? Welcome to my Callisto Protocol No Damage All Collectibles run. I did this run on the hardest difficulty which is called Maximum Security. This difficulty is the hardest one available at the time of recording this video. This run is segmented and is intended to help anyone who may be struggling to beat the game on hard mode and to help towards getting 100% completion or if you're on PlayStation getting the Platinum Trophy. Thanks for checking out my video. Let's get this going. from Europa, a brazen attack by the Outer Way terrorist group, led by the notorious Danny Nakamura. That's enough. You got a job to do. This is Callisto Hangar Control to UJC Caron. You have cleared the security perimeter. Roger, Hangar Control. Winning in course for Europa Station. You got something to say? You're gonna keep flicking that thing all day. I was watching that. It's our last run, Max. And I'm done talking about it. Then what do you want me to say? Oh, well, thank you. Because after this job, we're never gonna have to work another day in our lives. Well, I guess you got it all figured out. I guess so. Come on, man. What is this? Huh? Back and forth, Callisto to Europa, all this additional security. It's a prison moon, Max. They take the security pretty serious. And what about the attacks? Huh? How do you explain that? By the outer way? They've been hitting targets all over the sector for the past six months. We got a yellow light in the cargo hold. That's probably nothing. Well, it's still worth checking out. You shouldn't worry so much, you know? You live longer. Port and starboard sensors are both showing errors. Hey, go check them out. I'm going. I'm going. Solid advice though, worrying too much is not good for your heart. Alright, let's open this up. Jacob's job. It's our first collectible, we're going to get all of the collectibles throughout this run, so let's take a look at this one. Personal load. We're docked at Callisto Hangar. Can find the quarters while they load the cargo. Max has been on my case about these Europa runs. We've done jobs like this before. I don't know why he cares so much now. I mean, it's just a job. You gotta keep your head down and your mouth shut. Right. So that's the only collectible in this chapter. Let's move on. Alright, so this game just received a decent patch. Well, a decent sized patch. And although I think the game's great, I've already done... Come on. A playthrough? Performance on day one was not good. And I'm hoping that this patch has improved that. This better be worth the trouble. I for anybody... For anybody who is having problems with performance... The game was shipped with settings... That weren't optimized very well... Performance-wise. Playing this game in DirectX 12 is an absolute nightmare. And, uh... I guess I'll check the other side. Ray tracing is, like, standard 
as a setting on this game, you have to turn it off and it really affects your performance, but there was a lot of stuttering going on as well. But uh, from what I've heard, this patch really helps a lot with all of that. Max, we got trouble. What's up? We've been boarded. Oh, shit. The other way? Yeah, I'm guessing. All right. All right, well, you get your ass back up here. I want your back. You know, it could be anywhere. All right. So this section of the game is very scripted. Not really any combat to do or anything like that. There's also a setting in the graphic sense. I think it's called lighting or something. It's one of the lighting settings. And if you change it from standard to low, those are the only two options it has. It really boosts performance. And... The quality difference is very minimal. But it helps a lot with performance. There he is! Pop up! Max! Heading for the bridge! Pop it up! What are you gonna do? Whatever I have to. What are you doing? No! Shit! Bye bye. This part is very reminiscent of Dead Space 2. For anyone who's played this game, there's a lot of similarities between this game and Dead Space. Jacob, get up here! I think some people probably really like that, and I'm guessing some people don't. It doesn't really bother me, I'm a massive fan of Dead Space, but it doesn't bother me that this game has a lot of similarities. I mean... I'm pretty sure... I've heard that developers from Dead Space are working, have worked on this game, so... But we'll talk more about the game soon. cool intro. Feelings, mate. Get you out of here. 
Manifest says you were running cargo out of the hangar. Don't get many of you freelancers out here. I was just doing my job. Don't I know it? First ship I ever lost. We were boarded by. Let go of me! Her! Her! She's the one who. Hey. Do your jets, cargo jockey. You do your job. You let me do mine, all right? Sir. Yes, sir? Whatever you say. Grab him, too. Uh, hey! What are you doing? Hey! I didn't do anything! You go into jail. Poor Jacob. Alright. So yeah, there's a couple of sections in this next area that were affected heavily by performance, so we'll see how they do. I am playing in 4K. So I expect some frame drops. I'm only on a 2070 Super and a 5800X. CPU's decent, but my graphics card's pretty, pretty mid. Way too late for this shit. Okay, uh, inmates do not speak unless they are spoken to. Wait, there's been a mistake. My name is Jacob Lee. I'm not an inmate. You were inmate. 532-521. You address me as Captain Ferris. What? No, no, no. I'm just a cargo pilot. I was attacked by the outer way. By her. She crashed my ship and she killed my first officer. I don't care. Warden Zors. Oh. Speak of the devil. Choice. Every choice in your life has led you here. To this moment. To this place. The only place where you truly to find the one thing that has always been missing. A purpose for your meaningless life. This is Warden Cole, and together we will find that purpose. Welcome to Black Iron Prison. I just love that last part. Gives me chills every time. <sighs> End of the line, get up. And mates. I gave you a direct order. This is not right. I don't belong here. Listen. You know they call Callisto the dead moon. Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. I mean, shit. As far as anyone else is concerned, you are dead. It's time you moved on. Because you're crossing over to a new kingdom. No. To my kingdom. So whatever it is you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. Surprise, dead man. Okay. Grab her. Let's go. your probe. Doctor, he's not in the system. We don't know. Just prep the device. What the what, what the what? That device? No! No! You're a goddamn doctor! Yes, I intend to faithfully execute my responsibilities. Try not to move, it'll only make things worse. No! Fuck you! Doctor, he's flatlining. Injector. Oh. 
What a day. Alright, so we just need to walk around in the cell a little bit to get past this next part. Until a little box spawns on the floor here. And it's taking its time, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. There it is. Jump scares, boy. All security personnel report to the main cell block. This is not a drill. Please remain calm. There is nothing to fear. That is a lie. We are in prison. Something's not right. You got plenty to worry about. So let me just have a little look around here. Yeah, performance definitely seems to have improved with this patch. That's good. Let's hope the stuttering's been reduced. Like I mentioned earlier, it, it's kind of rough that this game's gained a bad rap so early on. Mainly, I'm guessing, because of performance. Because the performance was so bad. Because the game's pretty good, but the reviews on Steam were so bad. Hey man, over here. Bruff, what the fuck Bruff. is going on? I don't know what the hell's going on. My ship crashed, I got thrown in here and then I walk up to this. Well, look, 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 look. You're that pilot they just brought in, yeah? Yeah, well, look, I've been in here half my life. I know this place. I've got a plan to get out. If you help me out of this cell, I'll help you, yeah? Look, you can use this to get inside a control room across that bridge. You can open my cell from there. My name's Elias, by the way. Jacob. Don't lose it, Jacob. I just saved your life. Don't leave me hanging. True. Imagine how long it took. To sharpen a wrench into a shiv. <laughs> Alright. I'm guessing... Back to the performance issue we were talking about. I'm guessing the devs didn't have the day one patch quite ready. And they were struggling to get it out for release. So we were kind of playing a little bit of a pre-release. Until the day after where they released the day one patch that's updated performance and made things a lot better. I feel bad for them because it's kind of probably ruined the review status of the game. It's going to take a little while to recover, I'm guessing. I'm hoping some people change their reviews on Steam now that they've released this patch because it is performing a lot better. I have to see what happens. I mean, if you don't like the game for its gameplay or whatever, you know, I get it. Deal. Scripted damage doesn't count. Although well, you don't actually take damage from any of this, you know? So, I've heard some people say that they're struggling to get to grips with the combat in this game. Specifically the melee combat. But, uh, it's honestly not that difficult. With a little bit of practice. Just kind of need to hold left or right to dodge. And play a little bit patiently. And just wait to see how many attacks the enemies do. They'll either do one or two in the early stages. And you kind of just wait for them to finish their animations. And then go for some attacks yourself. For instance, he went for the one there at the end. And then take yourself a couple of swings. And then wait for them to come again. Alright. Fairly easy. Uh, it's just a little bit different. It's kind of a unique combat mechanic. I should do it. Because of the dodges. So we're opening the cells here. The whole dodge system makes things a lot different. 
Although no damage can be rough in these early stages. I mentioned this in the intro prob probably, but this is a segmented run, which basically means if I take damage or anything like that, I just have to hit the checkpoint and replay that segment again. I'll edit it, I'll edit it all up, so you won't even notice. Hopefully. Back there, I just saw something. It attacked me and it, it didn't seem human. What are you on about? Wait, I know what I saw. Look, this place can mess with your head, but this is our chance. Whatever it was you saw, it's all the more reason to get out of here. You see that watchtower? Yeah. That's our first stop. Meet me there. How? Elevators that way. Take it up to the next level. I'll be in touch. Got it. So... If you see footage fade anywhere or anything like that, it's just because I've edited out some damage we took or something. Um, also, I just want to show you guys the difficulty settings. We have these three difficulty settings. We're playing on maximum, which is the highest. You can change the difficulty set setting at any time. I've heard they're bringing out a harder difficulty setting with some DLC later down the line, but I don't have that yet, or it's not out yet, so can't do that. I'll check it out when it comes out. You do have a block mechanic in the game. It's telling me to use it right now, but unfortunately, when you use the block mechanic, you take damage. So, we can't use block. We can only use our dodge. The damage you take is reduced when you block, but you do take damage. So, can't be doing that. Also, like I mentioned earlier... Oh, hold up. Yeah, so no damage can be a little bit rough in the early stages when we don't have all of our kit because enemies in this game can grab you and you don't actually know when they're going to grab you. It's kind of random. So you can end up getting grabbed out of nowhere and you take damage when that happens. So you just, I'll just have to replay those points. If we get grabbed, I can't really tell if it's going to happen or not. It's just one of those things, you know? And this enemy that's coming up here tends to grab a lot, so... Let's go. He's done. So we need to stomp on bodies to get loot out of them. And... One big difference between this game, I feel like, well, between this and Dead Space, you can't just stomp random dead bodies and split them up. You know what I mean? They sort of don't have a lot of physics to them, like they did in Dead Space. That guy actually moved a little bit there, but the majority of bodies don't seem to move. They're kind of just stuck in place. I feel like there's a few quality of life improvements, very small improvements that could really help improve this game. Just minor things that don't actually affect the game, but would make it feel a little bit more, I don't know, immersive, I guess. Also, I had to hit a checkpoint back there because that guy grabbed me. I'll edit it out, but... Elias, something's wrong with the elevator. I'm heading down, not up. Damn, that means you're headed to solitary. You can still reach the watchtower. You just have to go the long way. Just be careful. They keep the real crazies down there. The real crazies. Yeah, for some reason, when you use checkpoints in this game, it disables subtitles, which is really strange. Again, just probably a small thing that needs patches and more than likely will get patched soon. But yeah, if the subtitles turn off, I apologize for that. There's not really anything I can do. You guys trying to talk to us? But yeah, that seems like a simple fix that will probably come in time. I'm guessing this game was rushed. And that's why the small things like that that are happening that they haven't caught yet and patched up. But overall, the game is very playable now. Like I said before, I'm playing this in 4K. If you're just planning and playing in like 1080p or even, you know, 2K, you'll probably fine, be fine with like mid hardware. My graphics card's kind of mid. It's just a 2070 Super. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not terrible. But it's definitely not recent. It's a few years old now. I'd say my CPU 
Not god tier, but it's still relatively really good. It's just a 5800X. Not a bad processor at all. Although there are newer ones. But I'd say that that processor is more than capable of running what this game will throw at it. Just, uh, my graphics card was a little bit more beefy. It'd probably do this game's performance the world the good, you know? Alright, although this game does seem pretty CPU heavy, to be honest. For those of you who are on console, you're probably just like, look, man, I don't care. <laughs> That's the beauty of console, though. Don't have to worry about all that stuff. But it can work in your favor or work against you. Sometimes you'll get a game that runs really well on console, and then other times if you get a game that doesn't run well on console, you're kind of just screwed. Make sure you don't stomp on that body down there because there's a slug hanging around in it and if you do it will attack you so we're not going to interact with that body at all all right moving on moving on i can hear people in the vents so i actually already played through this game and did no damage but my recordings decided to mess up so i'm here doing it again it's my second time through no Lies. damage on hard mode. Found the elevator, heading up now. Good. That is detour might actually work for us. There's a weapons lock up just past the infirmary. Good place to gear up. You'll need to watch out now. Security units are back online. Security units, bruv. Alright. So you have to watch out for the robots. Oh god, no! Move! No, we're not Lethal force has been authorized. No. Area secured. Moving to medical sector. If you take a look at that guy's face, just before he gets shot, his face was all like half caved in. I think it was because he got punched or something. But yeah. So yeah, the, the combat... No activity detected. All right, okay. Plug her off then. They can't track us. Prison systems are breaking down like that elevator back there. Just stay out of their line of sight and you should be able to sneak by. All right. Kind of a little stealth mechanic they've got going on in the game here. All systems nominal. It's pretty simple. Stay crouched and be sneaky. Yeah, the combat system in the game... It is very fun, but at the moment... We've only really got melee. We don't have the other elements of our kit. We'll get guns and... You also kind of get a telekinetic device. Let you throw enemies around and stuff like that. If you've played Dead Space, you should be f familiar with that. It's like a TK thing. No movement detected. These guys' voices are actually great. So we need to open this. Weapon systems online. But yeah, because we don't have our full kit at the moment, um, it's much easier to take damage. Can't defend ourselves as well. We need to stay about here to avoid this guy's line of sight. He'll, force authorized. he'll move on eventually. When we do get our guns, though, there's, there's different guns in the game, but we're going to focus on just using two guns in this run just to uh, focus on upgrading them. Alright, we're good to just move up here and we want to open this. Let's go. Alright. Yep, yep. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really uh, impressed by the performance of the game. Don't open that chest. There's a slug in it. But uh, we're in surgery and our uh, first collectibles here on this chapter. Which is just over here. Let's 
have a little listen to that. Personal log, Dr. Caitlin Marlow. Arrived at Black Iron today. Met Cole for the first time. He's authorised me to restart the programme. It won't be easy, but I trust in my team. They, as I, understand the promise here. The opportunity that lies ahead. Hmm. And our information was all redacted. So... Maybe we should have a little look out there. Or maybe not. Let's just move on. I think the robot's out there, which is just... Extra danger we don't need. You can probably get some items or whatever out there. But, uh... It's not necessary. No collectibles that way or anything like that. If you want to go and have a look for items... It's up to you. Alright, we got an enemy here and this guy likes to grab. Come on there, mate. Having to hit checkpoints because these guys grab you is really frustrating. And it's much more of a problem at the beginning of the game. Just because I can't shoot enemies or knock them back with the TK. Or the grip, as it's called in this game. Alright. Let's keep it going. Alright. Health, we don't need that. More health. Keep moving. Okay. So in this section, we've got a couple of enemies. If you play this right, sometimes you can get away with killing these enemies stealthily, but it's actually really difficult to get right. You'll end up fighting them, probably. Still looking for that weapons lockup. Keep moving, bruv. Some enemies there. I wonder if we wait here for a second. If we can force this into a stealth situation. I've never actually tried this before. I think... No, because another guy drops into the room when you come in here and... They usually see you and just come running at you. Yeah. You gotta kill one of these guys. And then the other one runs away. That one tried to hit me. I think he missed, though. Yeah, when you've got multiple enemies around, just like, uh, there, usually when one enemy's attacking you, the other one will tend to just ignore you and sort of stand there. They might switch off and you'll have to fight. Like, you'll switch which one you're fighting mid-combat. But at the moment... You find anything? The lockup had already been made. All that's left is this baton. Yeah, at the moment, we can't really keep enemies back too well, because uh, stuff's weak. Yeah, Alright, bruv. Let's go ahead and turn that on, and we're going to get someone jump in this room. An enemy from here. Are you ready to dodge? And uh, we should... Yeah, I was going to say, we should be able to knock this guy into the spikes. It's definitely handy for us, but it's a bit of a health and safety hazard, you know what I mean? Alright. So there's still some definite 
frame drops, but I blame that on me forcing myself to play in 4K so I can have the game looking as pretty as possible. As long as it's not stuttering super bad, I'm actually not that bothered. I'm not a massive stickler for performance. Like I said, it's a shame that this game's got such a bad rap so early on because of performance, but that's what happens when people are hyped for a game and it doesn't perform well on release, you know? Anyway, we got another collectible coming up. And we've also got some enemies here. We want to run up here and stop about here or so. Move to the side behind these mattresses. we got four enemies to deal with here because there's a collectible ahead of us that we need to get. Alright, so we just kind of need to wait here for a sec for this guy ahead of us to move out a little bit. If we go too early, he'll turn around and spot us. So we just need to wait for a second. So we can stab him in the back. And then... Another guy's gonna spawn behind us. So we gotta be ready to attack him. Hopefully this guy sticks with us until we kill him. Because there's another enemy to our left. And he can decide to take aggro at any time if he wants to. Worked out pretty well. Now we kinda just gotta hope that we don't get grabbed. There's also another enemy that spawned in behind us now. We're going to deal with him next. He didn't go for the grab, which is really good for us. Right. There we go. Beautiful. Once you've dealt with them four, stomp away. Get your loot. That's three. Where's the fourth one? There he is. And once you've picked up all your loot, there's a collectible just over here. I kind of just want to backtrack a little bit just so I can sort this out for my collectible video. I'm going to use this guide to just chop it up and make a collectible video. Saves me having to set up beating up four guys in the middle of grabbing a collectible. So we got a audio diary there from Elias. Let's have a read or a listen. I'll be ready. Alright. So, there's one more collectible to get in this chapter. It's not too far away. You can run away from those enemies if you want to. Like, kill one of the guys and then just run away from the rest. But, uh, we wanted that collectible, so we need to clear them out. Heavy RNG in that fight. Which is pretty much just ruled by the fact that we don't have a gun or the grip yet. I got you. I'm sending in squad nine. So we just got open this door. You. How the fuck did you get in here? You think I got time for this shit? Okay. Okay. Let me see if I got this straight. Uh, you crash here. And then this whole place goes to shit. Oh, five, two, one. Look at me when I'm talking to you. What'd you do? Huh? You can tell me. Are you different? Are you special? Why'd the warden run you alive? Huh. I told you. This is my kingdom. It's all yours. See you, mate. <laughs> Alright, so our last collectible is just on the table in this room. Right here. Alas, I'm through. And so is Ferris. What do you mean? He was there. Those things killed him. All right, let's have a little listen to that. Responded to a crash outside the gatehouse. Site secured as per warden's orders. Access restricted to Mahler's team only. Never thought I'd miss the old warden. At least she was by the book. 
Mm. Alright, let's dip out of this chapter then. Get on with the next one. Not bad, two chapters down. Let's go. Necessity to do what is required to make the hard choices. As your new warden, I will do what is necessary for you, for this storied institution, for the good of all mankind. Yeah, I'm sure you're a real great guy, mate. Pretty sure he's dead, mate. All right, we gotta watch out behind the stall. There's an enemy behind you. Oosh. All right. Getting them dodges. He's almost done for. There we go. So even though this video is more about no damage, I'll still try and guide you through some achievements or trophies. There's an achievement in the game for doing five per perfect dodges, and you kind of have to um, basically dodge at the very last second. On this difficulty, it's very difficult to do. Hold up. We don't need health, but we have got loot. Come on. You can wait, mate. Ain't going anywhere. Hurry it up, man. No. Free loot. This will come in handy, though. Take that over to the reforge. You can use it to print a new weapon. Give me a minute to tap into the system. Okay, bud. So we need to get the credits out of this box before we can do that. We're going to upgrade this weapon because it is really useful. Let's go ahead and slap it in. Okay, got it. If we're going to get out of here, we need a ship. One that you can fly. Now, I found an inmate with the skills to hack the network and call one down from orbit. Bad news is they're in the shoe. Maximum security. It'd be fucking tough getting in there. Call bothering you? Yeah, ever since I got it. Yeah, they can scramble your brains a little bit. Don't worry, you get used to it. Yeah, you sure know a lot about this place. Yeah, I've had nothing but time. Okay, so what's next? The shoe? Can we just waltz our way in there? No, I wish we could. It's not gonna be that easy, bro. Look, I've been here a long time. I've got privileges that you don't. So I'm gonna have to take you a different way. But I'll be your eyes and ears and I'll guide you along. Right, don't you leave me hanging. I got you. Unless you know I'm a pilot. No, I'm afraid not. Right, I'll get that door for you. Alright, so we got rudely interrupted there, but we've got some hand cannon ammo. Our inventory's full though, so we need to go and sell some stuff. Uh, we pretty much want to sell everything here. As, as the, uh, well, while we're in the prison, our inventory is very limited. Later in the game we get a bigger inventory, but it's when we basically get a different suit. So, right now, I'll grab those bullets in a minute. We want to get our first upgrade for the pistol, which is just an increase to stability. We only really want to get up to the damage one. Um, but we're going to upgrade this pistol. We'll get another gun later that we'll upgrade as well, and we'll just stick to those two guns. What's more important is upgrading your grip, which we don't have yet, but also upgrading the baton. Um, 
getting the damage on this is very important. This middle one doesn't really matter because we can't block in this playthrough because they're not doing no damage. I know I explained this earlier, but if you're blocking, you take reduced damage, but you still take some, so I just can't do it. Um, this one is, it is useful, but for the moment, what we want to focus more on is this side because it helps us get the damage up. This is pretty much taking our damage all the way up. So we want to get this one first. And this also gives us a heavy attack, which is really nice. User assumes all liability for use of this bridge. Having United Day. All right, cool. So by the end of this chapter, we should have this upgrade. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some hand cannon ammo. And yeah, using using the melee weapon really helps just towards keeping your ammo. Poor guy. All right, so let's get ready to dodge. This tutorial here is kind of meaningless. See that blue reticule pop up? It's basically a lock-on shot. We're basically not going to bother with that. There we go. And he's done. Gotta watch out for these little egg things, because... Yeah. They can have enemies in them. Enemies we don't want to deal with. Alright. Doing well so far. Alright. So, sneak up on this enemy. Let's get rid of him. Obviously stomp him out. Get whatever we can off him. Wanna make sure you're doing that to every enemy you kill, just to maximize credit pickups and stuff. You also get some bullets off him sometimes. So these enemies can spit at us. But if we take his head off, he can't spit us at anymore. Oosh. Let's give him another shot, why not? He's lost an arm. Got an arm off. Uh, we got some health gel off that guy, but we can't take that. That's just like uh, a random health pickup. What's going on down here? God, that made me jump. Hmm. Not sure what's over here. Bullets. Take me some bullets. There's no collectibles down here. I know that much. Should be careful though. Huh. I want to go down there, but at the same time, I don't. I feel like we're just going to get bullied if we do. I know we don't have to go down there. Extra credits. It's probably just some item pickups. So let's just move on. Stick with the plan here. All right. Can we break this glass? Some of this glass you can break, others you can't. There we go. But a lot of time go a lot of the time going into these extra areas can just result in you getting attacked. You've got to watch out, man. Alright. I don't think there was actually anything in there. Moving on then. Okay. So we're heading this way. We gotta hop into this vent. Hello. Wait, did I just hear a 56k modem dial-up sound? What the hell? <laughs> that was weird. 
All right, so we can do a little bit of stealth for you. Try and deal with both of these guys stealthily if we can. Just be quick about getting this first guy, maybe. Uh, he got dealt with. All right, let's try and sneak up on the second guy. See what he does here. I saw me. All right, let's go. There we go. Let's give him a shot as well. Yeah, it's kind of a bit janky when you use that lock-on shot. When you see that blue reticule, it's kind of a, a lock-on. But you press aim at that point. Oh, well, what happened to my audio there? You press aim at that point. And uh, it just locks onto the target that's on their body. It's sort of like a little, you know, combat mechanic. But if they're on the floor and you do it, they just stand, stand straight back up. Again, I just feel like there's very small quality of life improvements that can be made to this game. Like small patches that would greatly improve the way the game plays out, you know? So we've got a collectible here. But for this one, you have to pick. You have to pick this one up, basically. That guy just went. Sergeant Eric Jane. So that's just pretty much a profile. Oh no, we got a uh, no, we did get a audio log from that. Let's have a listen. That's a picture, and I think that's to do with the key we just picked up. I didn't have a choice. Inmates were tearing through the block. I had to seal the door. Does anyone copy? Yes, Officer Jane. Warden Cole? Where are you? In my tower. Watching. Foreboding. All right. I feel like if they wanted that guy to come off as like not the evil guy, it should have made him sound a bit nicer. He might as well be dressed like Doctor Evil, with his little finger up to his mouth. Like. All right. So we've got an enemy here that's pretending to be dead. Let's deal with him. If you don't shoot him there, he will get in your face. It's really nice when you knock one of their arms off just because they can't do the double attack anymore. Alright, so we've got another collectible that's over this way. So if we come down here and around this way we can find our next collectible just at the back in this room. And we get an audio lock. Let's have a listen. Again, small quality of life upgrades. I think we just got this guy. I pick up an audio lock. I should be able to press a button and it takes me straight to the audio lock. I don't develop games, but I'm sure that isn't difficult to add in. You know, I, I pick up that audio log there and I have to go into the menu like this. Like, say we're here. I got, and then I've got to scroll over here and go and find the person whose audio log. If I didn't pay attention to whose audio log it, it was that I picked up, I'm like, okay, where where is that sort of thing? So it's a bit frustrating, you know? I just feel like very small changes could make this game a ton better. Nice. We got a pristine energy converter there as well. There's also some ammo and stuff in here. Huh? 
also another really kind of dumb thing that the the game has you can you can craft ammo in the shops but uh if you don't sorry well the, the shop just doesn't tell you how many bullets it's crafted so you have to work it out for yourself in your inventory and just look at like how many you've gone up in the inventory also and, and say if you're working with this pistol we've got if you craft some ammo you get six and if you're thinking okay i need a stack of ammo so you want like tw you want 12. but let's say you want two or three stacks so you want 30 bullets right you've got to sit there and craft the same bullets it's like six times or whatever so it just takes forever because it's got to print them and that just takes so long you know what let me just head back a second here because We've got another collectible to go and grab, and I just want to smooth out the uh, the guide that I'm making. Sorry for the back and forth. Back to it in just a second. All right, let's go. Yeah, so you've just got to keep selecting the same thing, which is a little bit stupid. You'll see what I mean later in the game. If you keep watching the video, you'll see when I craft ammo. If I want, like, three stacks of ammo, I've got to continuously stack it. It would be nice if there was a little feature in the shop where it's like, okay, how many of these do you want? And you could just say craft three of them, or you could just select how much ammo you want to craft. Like, let's say you wanted 20. You could pay for each individual bullet or something. Again, small changes, very small changes that would just make the game a lot better. Alright, so this collectible actually counts towards its own separate achievement or trophy if you're on PlayStation. So you've got to come all the way down here. And later on in the game, we've got to pick up another collectible that also will pay towards that achievement or trophy. This is like a secret room you can find, but it's got a collectible in it. It's another one of these, I believe, in chapter 6 or something. A little later down the line. I don't want to seem like I'm... You know... Shitting on the game. Because I'm not. I do really enjoy... I have really enjoyed this game. It is great. Um, the only major thing that I didn't like... Was the performance. The performance was bad when it first released. But I knew that I'd get fixed pretty quickly with a patch. You know what I mean? I can be patient for that. But I just feel like very small changes to some mechanics would make this game so much more enjoyable. Like small, small changes that just made the game play smoothly, you know? It's really stupid, but it doesn't mean the game's bad at all. Okay, so we just picked up Duncan Coles. Again, like, it's hard. I'm not sure why, but is that to do with what page we're on? Like, you see the little pulsing thing? Oh, okay, it's because I've got the- these are like telling me these are new items or something. That's strange. Can you drop your weapon? No, you can't drop these, but you can drop- no, you can't drop the sheer evil. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing else in here of value except for this chest. So, let's crank that open. Let's see what we get here. We got. We left behind some bullets. Um, I'm happy to leave those for now. To be honest, we do need a shop though. We definitely do need a shop. All right, moving on. Then we got to go this way now. Yeah, like I said, uh, the whole audio diary thing. Very small change. I think about games like Dead Space or Bioshock. You pick up a audio diary. And it just says, press this button to play. You don't have to. Like, say if you're in the middle of something, you can leave it and then go into the menus and find it yourself if you want to. But uh, let's have a look in this room. Is anything decent? No? Yeah, you can, you know, go and find it yourself if you would prefer doing that. All right, there's enemies in this next room now. I'm not sure. Do we have to deal with them, though? 
Yeah, I think we do. If we go through this vent, we can drop on one of them, I think. Let's see if we can pull this off. Probably gonna get myself wrecked now. Ha! Yes! Now, there is another guy over here, though. I don't know if he's... He hasn't actually heard us. If he's just standing there, we can probably sneak up on him and just stab him. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be good. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Something I would like to see implemented. I don't know. I Man, I'm not a game developer. Never made games. I don't know how difficult it is to implement something like that, but I feel like it probably isn't that hard. You know? You can make a game like this. I'm guessing that a simple mechanic like that wouldn't be too challenging for you or your team. Maybe they didn't have the time to put stuff like that in the game, but... I don't know, man. I feel like it's kind of strange that people... Unless for some really obscure reason, they wanted to... Oh, I'm actually going the wrong way here. Unless for some really obscure reason, they wanted to add, have it that way. I just feel like games testers, like people who tested their game for them, would probably notice something like that and say, why don't you have it this way? It just makes, you know, the whole system a lot smoother. Can't believe that not one person said that to him. It's kind of insane. I do know that uh, we might have some dialogue here. Hold up. <clears throat> Shit. Hello. I do know that when uh, the game was given to people for review and stuff like that, like, you know, people get early copies of the game, they said that the embargo was release day. And usually the review embargo is, like, a while before release day. And game reviewers kind of like that because they get the game before release, they get to tell everybody what the game is like on their website or their YouTube or whatever before the game releases. And some game reviewers, some big game reviewers, I'm not going to name any names, not trying to throw salt, salt at anyone, I guess. Let's listen to this real quick before I continue, Hannah. Hang on. That's our next collectible, by the way. It's just on the main path, but yeah, it's nice to grab that. <clears throat> um, yeah, some game reviewers really don't like that, you know? Let's see what's in here. Hopefully not a worm. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Jumps again. <laughs> oh, man, I want that ammo. I can't take it. How much ammo do I have? I got like 24. That's fine. Yeah, some game reviewers really don't like that because obviously putting out maybe a video or even just a, you know, a text review on a website can bring a lot of traffic to your website because you've got the, you know, the hot new review of the hot new game before anybody else kind of thing. Um, and I, I, I do wonder if... I know the performance was bad, we've talked about that already, but I do wonder if, you know, that influences people's reviews that they post of the game. The fact that they I weren't allowed... Gloves that Captain Ferris had. That's a grip. Master guards love to use it on us inmates. Yeah, I remember. But it's good. It works on all sorts of things to do. Go on, give it a go. Yeah, I wonder if that just influences people's reviews, you know? They're just sort of like mad that they can't post early to bring in their traffic sort of thing because all of that's it's down to the developer when people post their reviews
Oh dear. He had a bad day. So we get a little tutorial here for the the grip, but I actually don't want to use it. You kind of get this slow motion, but I don't want to use it. It's kind of instructing you to use it, but I don't want to because I want to save the battery on it. The battery on it's a little bit scarce at the moment. And once we kill this guy, another guy drops into the area, so we want to deal with this guy a little further away. So I just like to keep my distance here. I missed. Come on, mate. He's gonna grab, I think. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. There we go. Here comes the other guy. He blocked it. I don't think these big, big guys tend to grab very often. Why not? At least I don't remember them grabbing me. Come on, mate. Jesus, take some hits. There we go. Alright. So, now that we've dealt with them, if we uh, go over there, we can grab a fuse for this door. We need to smash this, this window solid still, yeah. When we grab the fuse, though, two more enemies are going to drop in. I've actually had a glitch here happen to me a couple of times. Where the enemies just despawn for some reason. Like, I've tried to use the grip, and they just despawn. I kind of like to stay in this area for this part. We want to spend some time shooting this guy. Use the grip. There we go, he's dead. And we can handle the 1v1 with this guy. He looks like he might be going for a grab there. We gotta be careful. If you see an enemy... Approaching you a little slower than usual. It kind of means that they're probably going to go for a grab. But, uh... If you've got a gun or the grip, you can just sort of grab them and throw them away or shoot them. And it kind of resets the animation. So it's almost as if they change what they're going to do. And obviously now that we've got those items in our kit, that's a little easier for us to do. We didn't have them before. We kind of just have to take the grab because we can't do anything about it. What's this here? Oh, a battery. I actually kind of need... Oh, there's a shop. All right, that's beautiful. Let's come in here and open up these lockers first of all. We don't want to open up the middle locker here. Don't open this. Nah, I'm not going to... You know what? I'm just going to avoid both of the middle lockers. In one of those, there's definitely a slug and we just... I just don't want to mess with it. The choice is yours. The choice is mine. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and sell these. And I can go ahead and grab this battery. Thank you. And this one as well. It's in here. I can go ahead and sell this health injector. UGC printing at your service. I think I might be able to get a couple of upgrades here. So how much is this one? 200? Just worth getting, to be honest. Executing. So I've only got one more upgrade that I want to get for the pistol. The top one, although it can be handy, it's kind of just an ammo sink. Which is why I don't like to get it, to be honest. Because keeping your ammo is super important. Getting this is also really important. But uh, for now, I want to get the energy upgrade for the grip. We don't want to get these ones because it's just to help the grip recharge. But to be honest... <clears throat> if you get these ones and these ones, uh, you're fine with just using the batteries. I don't really bother with these. It's just a good idea to focus 
um, on these. So if we get the velocity upgrade and the fast energy upgrade here, and then we'll start saving for the next damage upgrade that we get on the uh, on the baton. This one and this one. Very handy. Yeah, so the next upgrade we're going to get is... Uh, if you imagine the printing process we just did there, the thing I was talking about with ammo, if I was to buy... Um, oh, they actually... Oh, no, no, it's still buy. Yeah, if I want if I want to buy ammo, it just says ammo for the hand cannon side a sidearm. Hand cannon ammo. And there's not, like, a set amount that you find these in, so you wouldn't think to yourself, oh, I'm getting, you know, however many I'm picking up. It That's all it says. It doesn't say... You actually get six of those. But I really feel like it should just say there, hand cannon ammo times six. You know what I mean? You get six ammo. But if I wanted to buy, say, 20, I'd have to do that printing process you've just seen a bunch of times. Like four times, you know what I mean? It's a little bit... just It's just tedious. It's something they, they could have just an easy workaround. You could just say right here, I want four of these. Or, you know, tell the machine you want 20 bullets and it just prints them out properly. Anyway, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but uh, yeah. So... I'm going to hold off on getting this for a minute, um, although I will be getting these eventually. I want to save up for this one next, because uh, that's really, really handy. This upgrade is only 300, so we'll get to that after we've got the other one in no time. We're doing quite well with our upgrades, to be honest, at the moment. We're in a good spot. Um, which door did we come through? Was it that one or that? I think it was that one. Let me see. Yeah, this is the way we gotta go. Our next collectible is also through here. We got a uh, new audio log there. Who is that one? I think it's si was Simmons. Let's have a listen. Oh dear. I do like. The, uh, the idea of coming in here and finding these guys all dead and uh, then finding that audio log that sort of tells you a little bit about what happened, you know? It's kind of a cool story that you have to piece together on your own. Alright. Anything else in here I want to get? Let me check around here. Ah, here we go. Take me some of that. Thank you very much. Alright, we are squeezing through here. Looks like it's busted. Get inside. We can drive it from here. You sure about that? Gonna lower you down nice and easy. Brakes don't look too good. Elias! Try it. One of the motors shorted out when I transferred power. Stop the cab! Stop it! Before we move forward here, we want to shoot this. There's an enemy in there. And he's really annoying. 
Yeah, so you need to look out for those guys. They're really sneaky. Um, this guy is chilling up here in this cage. He's going to hop out of that. <clears throat> and then he's going to open this up and come through here. Hello, mate. Oh, come on. It didn't give me the lock on. That's BS. Miss me, mate. Oh, yeah. Also, earlier I was talking about the achievement for getting perfect dodges. It's really difficult to get those on this difficulty. The timing is really, really short. You can change the difficulty at any time if you want to and just sort of fight an enemy like that. Try and get the perfect dodge. You just need to press the dodge button at the last second and you'll sort of get a slow motion effect if you get it right. I tend not to do it. I just kind of hold the dodge and it seems to always work. Like, I always get away with it. Um, but I don't get the perfect dodges. You need to get that five times for the achievement. Like I said, it's pretty easy to get. You just need to reload the checkpoint and keep trying until you get it if you want to go ahead and get it. So there's another one of those enemies here I was talking about. Shoot that. Don't deal with his BS. If you get the fuse in a moment, if you take note of where this fuse box is, um, we came from over there through the elevator. There's a schematic in there that can uh, <clears throat> give you a newer weapon. I don't want that weapon, so I, I mean, I might go there and see if there's some bullets or something for me, but uh, yeah, just in case I don't go back. If I forget or whatever, you can go and get that schematic if you want it. Enemy. Let's get rid of him. He got a bit spiked. And these spikes, man. It's a big health to savage. Big. Um, I nearly said safety savage. <laughs> safety hazard. Our next collectible is behind there. And we want to shoot this. It's another one of those long neck things. Uh, I just want to quickly backtrack here. Just to set up for my collectibles video. Again, I'm sorry about this. I know it's a little bit tedious, but it just kind of helps me out. Just do me the solid, right? Also, I did want to mention, if you're new to the channel, if you're watching this video because you just like Kalisto and you want to see a no damage run, if you're enjoying yourself, maybe you don't find me too cringe compared to everybody else, I'd appreciate a sub. If you want to go a step further, slap on those notifications, man. That helps me out a lot. Come on, mate. Let's go. Oh, he's definitely... I could have chucked him into the fan and saved myself my ammo. Alright, there we go. Also got some pickups in here. Alright. But if you're also a returning sub... And you're wondering why you don't see my videos too much anymore. Probably want to turn on notifications. That's probably why. If you don't have notifications on, I'll quit going on about it now. I I know everybody hates to listen to people going on about this stuff because people don't shut up about it. But yeah. So coming down here, we've got a few enemies. You can kill two with one shot if you're lucky here and shoot this tank at the right time. Let's see. Let's see if we get lucky. Yeah, I think I got him. This guy spits us, so we want to try and deal. Oh, that was so close. Jesus. Just ninja that. All right, this guy behind us. Come here. Oh, man, I grabbed something and threw it at him. Stop grabbing stuff, Jacob. Grab the enemy. Thank you. Jesus. Whew. That was close, man. I dodged some of those things by, like, tiny amounts. Get whatever I can out of these guys. I wonder if I... How much charge have I got? Have I got any spare batteries? I've got one. I wonder if I throw something at these guys. If I get the stuff out of them. Hey, I did. A few credits. Let's go. Got, like, uh, what? 91 credits for that? Not bad. All right. So here's the fuse. So let's head back around. I will do it. But we need to, if you want to just continue at this point, if you are using this as some sort of a guide, you want to go that way. You put the fuse in there. 
And that's the way to continue. I'm going to go back and take a little look at this room. This is hard mode, so I kind of want ammo, you know. Um, yeah. So, I am noticing a few frame drops here and there. Like, I think I'm definitely staying over 30. It prob it's probably dropping down to, like, low 40s or something like that in areas. But I'm going to blame that on... What'd you call it? Uh... I lost my train of thought. Yeah, 4K. And I've got my textures on high and stuff like that, so... The game's struggling a little bit. Some people really can't deal with... Games running at that sort of frame rate. But it doesn't really bother me. Especially in single-player games. Like, I don't mind... Too much in single-player games, just because it's... Single-player. I don't need the extra frames to beat bots, you know? Alright, so we've got a energy converter. I'll take one of them. Thank you very much. And we've got the skunk gun schematic right there, but I don't want that. That is useless to me. Yeah, if you do want to grab that, it's there. It's basically like a little shotgun. But later on in the game, we get given a shotgun by an NPC. All the other weapons um, that you come across through schematics, you have to pay for so you'll have to pay, I think, a good 800 credits to craft a new weapon. Uh, and it just kind of becomes a bit of a credit sink. And I want to upgrade just a couple of weapons and keep those weapons and sink the rest of my credits into my baton and my grip. And that way, you end up being way more powerful. Getting the grip fully upgraded, especially on the velocity upgrade, is really, really useful. It really pays to do that. Oh, wow. Did I grab the grip, uh, the, the fuse? I hope I did. Oh, we gotta go back. No, I did. we we'll go. Yeah. The grip can do mad damage to enemies. If used properly. Alright. So, we are going to see Elias, I think. Not a huge amount left of this chapter now. Keep moving. Look at the size of that thing. Elias, I'm in the elevator. I see the shoe. Elias, you there? Yeah, I wonder. Elias. Let me know. What you guys think of the game's performance at the moment, how it's been looking on this video, if slightly dropping frame rates bother you. Sorry for not responding. This thing's found a way inside here. Really tearing up the place. Can we still get to the shoe? Yeah, but it's on emergency power, so I'll need to stay here and run a manual override. Don't worry. I can get you over there. I'm activating the gondola right now. We'll carry you across. You do that, bud. You do that. Alright, so down here is a shop. So if you need to sell anything or whatever, you can do all that here. The great thing about doing a no damage run, man, is you get all the uh, little bit of a stutter there. You get all the uh, printing for all your needs. injectors to sell. Because you just don't need them, obviously. Just gives you extra credits all the time. Alright, we got another 1100 credits. Uh, what was it I wanted to buy next? I think I wanted to buy this, didn't I? The, uh, the upgrade for this. Decent. Stand by. Finished. Beautiful. No time to waste, Jacob. Lots of time to waste. Relax. Alright, so we're going this way. So with the grip, when it runs out, if you have a battery, it'll just sort of automatically use it for you. But you'll find that when you try and grab an enemy... Did that guy just die? 
What the hell? Bye. Nice. Alright, so we got a couple of batteries lying around, which is really useful for this segment. Because pretty much we just have enemies attacking us. And, uh... You've got this heavy machinery around, you can just throw them into it. Again, even though this part of the game is really cool to play. You've got all these enemies coming and you can chuck them into these spinning discs and all this stuff. Just seems like a massive... Massive health and safety issue. You've got these things around saying, well, oh, wear ear defenders in this area, wear a helmet. And then you've got exposed bladed machinery like this spinning us. You know what I mean? That would just take your arm off. Without even trying. No, I can't take that at the moment. Okay. There's a couple of injectors in here, but right outside of this area is a, uh, a shop. So we can sell everything in a minute if we want to. Come back and grab the rest and then sell it off. Alright, so here's another collectible. This is just a profile. Over here. Where is he? There he is, this guy. And I think that may be everything out of these guys. Out, everything out of this uh, chapter. Might be one more, I'm not sure. I'll know when I come to it. All right, slap these in. I need to quickly run this way and drop down. I'm ready for a fight, mate. Hello. We gotta watch out for the guy that comes out of the vent right here. Also, don't run into these. You'll die. Oh, I hit, I hit his spit with that. That's cool. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, God. Wrecked. Alright, there are more of them, so let's get ready. It's very loud in here. Again, very cool looking. I can appreciate the aesthetic of this. But definitely dangerous. Oh, I fucking... I keep grabbing that. It's mad annoying. It's tempting to try and throw them into these things, but it's actually harder to do that. You just throw them up there, and you're good to go. Hello. I think this is the last guy. Just keep your ears open. Yeah, you want to wait till all this stuff stops before you get closer to it, because you can't just accidentally clip it and get yourself killed. There we go. Alright, let's try and look just for the bodies and stuff out of it. I may have used a battery in that fight, so I might be able to pick up one of these injectors. Or maybe both. Let's find out. Let's get all the stuff out of these bodies first. Definitely worth getting the credits in that, you know what I mean? Look at the booty on this guy. Alright, he didn't want to give me anything. Yeah, I can take at least one injector. Let's go check if we can take the other one. Wait, did I get the one that was up here? I don't remember. Let me see. I don't think I did, right? Yeah, there's still one here. Let me see if I can take this one. Yeah, I can. Beautiful. There's one more by the door that we can come back for in a second, because the, uh... The shop here. Right there. Oh, wait, did I get that one? Oh, I did get that one. I've got them all. Nice. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, God. He ain't dead yet, Jesus. Just dodge him. Die, mate. Oh, God. Alright, thank you. Let's go. 
All right, so we need to come up here and mess with a control panel. Before we do that, let's just go ahead and sell whatever we've got in our inventory. And Please make a selection. We've got like three of these we want to sell basically, and that's it. We've got 700 credits. Let's take a look at what we can buy. Uh, how much is this? Oh, this is 600. It might be worth getting that, you know. Hmm. Or how much is... That's 900. These are 900. Might just be worth... If I get this, that's pretty much the... Uh, all the upgrades I'm going to get for that pistol. I really don't... I don't want anything else for it. It's not worth it. I'd rather put my credits into uh, the baton. I, I need to, I'll probably get this one next. Uh, and these last upgrades that we want to get are like 2,700, so we really need, to, really need to save up those credits for that. What's over there? Oh, is that a... Uh, ooh, energy converter. That's worth a few credits. Usually I'd just hold on to this, but because the inventory is so limited at the moment, it's just worth getting rid of it now. We only have like seven slots. Later on in the game, we get a different suit and we can carry a lot more, but not right now. All right. Let's go ahead and open this. Beautiful. Alright. So, beauty of this area is you can just chuck everyone off the edge. This spit's a guy we want to get rid of quick. Oh, he didn't get thrown over. Maybe because he's heavier, I don't know. But yeah, that's it. Easy. Don't have any batteries left, though. Oh, we do have one more collectible in this chapter, and it's in this cell. And you get put in here as just part of the story. You can see it on the desk in front of me right now. Elias, are you sure this is the right one? Get me out of here! What are you doing here? What the hell is going on? Did you know it was her? Is this who we're looking for? Yeah, well, no, I just knew it was someone who could help us. Why? And why would I help you? Well, look, I've been here forever. Well, I've got all the information on this place, and I can get us to the hangar. All right, and you, you can call down a shuttle, and, and he can fly out. Look, we can do this. We just got to stick together, all right? What? Thanks. I'll take my chances. A word of advice, though. Don't trust him. He's not what he seems. All right, so when you get control here, just I had no idea who she was. grab that. You knew everything about this place. Yeah, I thought I did too. So what now? Now you're trapped in there until the cell docks, which means I can get on the tram, but you can't. The figures. No, it's okay. I need you to go to waste processing, all right? Contact me once you're there. Data transfer complete. Wait, what the hell is that? Just trust in the plan, yeah? I'll see you soon. Alright. Let's get out of here then. <laughs> Get it moving. All right. Yeah, these vents can take a little while to get through. All right. Not a lot left of this chapter now. 
Little bit of fun left to have. Got an enemy here that jumps out on us. Let's hope he doesn't grab us. There he is. No. At least he didn't grab me. No head for you. You can see how much more powerful this thing is now. Hey, we got a battery. Nice. Oh, we got these worms in this area. These guys can be a little bit frustrating to fight, but, you know, it is what it is. This is why I kind of want to make sure I've always got ammo on me, because there's some enemies... Alright, alright. There's some enemies we can't use the baton on, so... We have to... Use the gun, shoot them out, all that good stuff. All right, so down here, be careful. Shoot this thing in the corner. It's another one of those long neck things. I'm gonna stomp these so they can't sneak up on me if any of them decide to pop for some reason. And let's hop over here, squeeze in between this. And you want to be careful as you come out of these pipes because there's a bunch of worms that are around. What was that? So, walk forward a bit, walk back. Get the worms to spawn. You'll hear them. Look out for that one. There's one right there. Another one comes out of the vent. Missed him. One more. I think that's it for the worms. Although some will come out of these pods, so... It's a good idea to shoot them, you know. A couple heal. I know it seems like a waste of ammo, but... Not worth getting wrecked by them. Also, you've got another one of these long neck things down here. Some Kalisto credits there. Hopefully this guy gives me some bullets here. Yeah, I think he has. Thank you. Sop over here. All right, moving on. Let's go, 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 go. All right, All the way down. Up here. Oh, ready to dodge. I wasn't ready for that. No. Die. Dodged again. Sit down. Thank you. Let's open up this vent. Hop in. You see me? Yeah, he did. Get away. Double attacks everywhere from this guy. Why not? Alright. Good night. Alright, so, there's an achievement tied to killing one of these robots, and this is the easiest place to get that achievement, if you want it. I'll explain how to get it real quick. I, uh, I won't go, I won't go for the actual achievement here, I already have it, but I'll show you how to get it. Again, just part of the guide. So, this guy is circling around here, we're going to wait for him to come past us. And then leave. Just be careful where you're crouching here because he can't see you through these grates sometimes. So we'll hop over here. And wait about here or so. It's telling me about the tutorial here. Use ranged weapons. Alright, so when he gets close. Comes around here. 
shoot him in the face about here and then come over here hop back over this duck behind these barrels about here just wait make sure you're tucked in between this box and this barrel he shouldn't be able to see you just stay here and then he'll bugger off and just rinse and repeat keep doing that and uh, eventually you'll kill him and get your achievement or trophy and if you want once you've got your trophy you can just hit the checkpoint just go into the menu and click restart checkpoint and uh, yeah just rinse and repeat to get your achievement load it up get your ammo back all good stuff all right he's coming around we need to time this right on the way out of this area so let's wait for him to go past us the AI on these things is actually pretty stupid. If he sees you in this area, you can just run behind the boxes and kind of hide from him and he'll just sort of leave you alone. But uh, if you mess up, he can get you quite easily. So let's test it out. Why not? Oh, credits. Remain where you are. <laughs> I think he knows. <laughs> Come on, bro, relax. Give me a break. Oh, it's a close one. Resuming search. Nah, no searching, bro. No searching. Come on. Be cool. Oh, oh, which way are you going, bud? Oh, he saw me. <laughs> Come on, mate. You missed. Resuming patrol. Are you though? You're actually searching, aren't you? I saw me. Let's go. How's the time? Oh, you hit the box, bud. You hit the box. Alright, throw that guy away. Let's go. Get to the vent. No damage. No damage, mate. It works. I fully meant to do all that all the way. Totally intentional. <laughs> Using them boxes for cover is... It's pretty easy, to be honest, but... Managed to finesse him in the end. Say what now? He said there's a trap. Elias. These textures aren't that great, are they? Definitely seem better. Alright, let's open this. Grab these. Whatever's inside is ours now. Alright, what we want to do here is run into the middle. These guys are going to spawn in. Grab them. Chuck them in. And they get chunked. I think there's like three of them in total. Let's move down. Just move into these alcoves to get away from them. Let's go now. There we go. Easy. Easy. Let's set it off one more time. And let's go. That's pretty much all of the combat we have to deal with in this chapter and stuff we just leave now and that's chapter 3 taken care of all collectibles done, beautiful Elias I made it, I'm at the checkpoint good, now get to the window tell us what you see will do the snow just like stopped there, that was weird oh, that's one hell of a view I got eyes on the hangar, too. Yeah, that's not taking out of here. Yeah, I ran plenty of jobs out of that place. Feels like a lifetime ago. We will get you back to that life. You just gotta stick to the plan. Which means you need to get your ass to the habitat, Dom. Well, how, how the hell am I supposed to get there? No, no one said this would be easy. But trust, I got your back. 
What is that supposed to mean? Nice work down there. Collecting research, you might say. I made some recordings. The software I'll upload it to your core will trigger them when you get close. Just follow them and you will get to the dome. And then what? I'll pick you up at the train station. Easy peasy. Alright. I'll be in touch. No. No, you won't. You're going underground, man. No signal till you reach the dome. All that figures. Is there anything else you haven't told me? Damn right. All right. Let's get out of here then. Down we go. That's the end of chapter three then. Decent. All right. Chapter 4 then. So, we're in sort of sewer tunnels at the moment. Let's keep moving forward. We got seven collectibles to get in this chapter. And, uh, yeah, a little shop down there. We just used the shop, though, didn't we? I don't think I have anything to sell. Unless maybe I pick something up out of those lockers. We got a med injector here. We can at least sell that. That'll do. Let me, uh... Let me check the inventory real quick. See if it's worth. I've got that one... Injector, that's about it, to sell. For all your needs. Why not? Uh, what are we gonna do next? I feel like, yeah, I wanna get this next. Are the... Yeah, I've got both of these upgrades. The next two upgrades are like 900. We kind of want to save for those. Let's go ahead and get the first one of these. Just because we can. If you say so. Alright. Sweet. Got enough ammo, and I? Yeah, got a little bit of ammo. Not using the gun too much, though. Using the, uh, the melee stuff just helps reserve ammo and keeps us in good shape when it comes to that. Okay. This is a pretty cool chapter. It's not too long before we get the, the next suit. And that just expands our inventory so much. It also means we take less damage, but guess what? That doesn't matter. Uh... The biggest bonus for us is just the fact that we can carry more stuff. Which is nice. Definitely seeing a massive increase in performance, man. Which is decent. So we've got a... Uh, pristine... Thingamajigger. So I think these, um, climate, I think these are, I wouldn't say they're hallucinations, more like holograms that we're seeing. I've got something to do with being connected with the core or something like that. Not really much of an explanation for why you're seeing them. I'm just, I just guess it's because of the core. It probably is. I don't know. Not really too bothered. It's in here then. If we wanted to, we could go back to the shop nice. and sell this stuff, but... Uh, see, my inventory's full already, man. Maybe it would pay to go back and sell those... Um, energy things. I've only got, like, a couple of spots left in the inventory. Can we go back to the shop? Just need all the resources we can get, really. Just to help get our upgrades. Yeah, I think we can go back. Maybe we should. Yeah, let's just do it. Don't really, if I can avoid it, I don't really want to waste any resources. It's just, it's just sucky that the um, 
the inventory is so small it's only like seven slots and I, and I mean there's a battery down there too and you can't buy batteries so let's just go sell what we got back and forward it's kind of annoying but it is what it is UGC printing for all your needs all right there we go we got 400 credits I wouldn't usually be too bothered, but it's just because the last upgrades cost so much. They're like 2700 so... Just doing this is our best bet, really. Alright, let's go. Some cool segments in this chapter. Also, there's a section in this chapter where we have to take some scripted damage. There's literally nothing we can do about taking a little bit of damage in this area. I tried and tried and tried to avoid taking damage in a certain fight in this section but it's actually impossible there's an enemy that just grabs you you lose a little bit of health and there's there's nothing you can do about it i'll show you what i mean when we get there all right so let's go ahead grab what was left in here if you've already played this game it's the invisible enemies basically you do a certain part in this area and one of those enemies goes ahead and grabs you and it's just scripted to happen and they do a little bit of damage. There's nothing you can do. They just sort of drop out of nowhere and grab you. I tried everything I could to stop it from happening, but it just happens every time. What was that? That, my friend, was some BS. It's trying to murder you. Now into the shit war. Ugh. Alright, so we have got one enemy that pops up in here. Come on, then. Sit down, my friend. Give me them credits. But just the one enemy in this room. Let's get moving, we gotta turn this off. Nice. Get in there. Oh, that opened that, what am I doing? Oh, don't get hit by that. That was close. Alright, so we got to turn a few of those wheels in this area. In order to open up some vents and move to the next areas. But yeah, there's a new enemy type. A couple of new enemy types in this section, actually. This is where you first get inter introduced to mutations. And also these guys. No. Well, he had a really bad day. Alright, hopping over. That's right, our first collectible is coming up. This is the way we got to proceed, but we want to come up here. We got a chest right here. Always worried when I open these chests that a freaking slug's gonna jump out of it and get me. Also, collectible, which is a Caitlin Marlow audio diary. Let's have a listen. Which one was it? I think it. I think it's this one here. Yeah. biophagic secretions as if it's adapting to the environment adapting the environment to itself damn you Cole what have you done hmm <clears throat> alright 
so the next collectible we get is actually along the main storyline path. And also the section where we take scripted damage. It's literally the only place in the game where we can't avoid... Hello. Where we can't avoid damage. Interrupt to me is kind of rude. Let's have a little look up here, see what we got. Anything we can go up here too? Always looking for them cheeky pickups, man. Where am I going? You're looking for stuff. Is this literally a dead end up here, mate? Weak. Right, let's drop down. There's something here to make this worth our while. No, all right, God, just this guy then. Let's go give him a slap. Quiet you. All right. So, we have to head this way, through this vent. Again, this is along the main storyline path. Let's keep it going. Can't really do anything about how long this takes. Alright. So in this area, you've got to grab a fuse and put it in, or I think it's two fuses actually, into a couple of these consoles. Um, when you grab a fuse though and go to go near one of these computers, one of these things will grab you. Before you do that, yeah, these guys. Before you do that, have a little look over here and just grab the collectible. Yeah, just so if you get jumped on. You can leave if you want to. Let's listen to the audio diary before we get the fuse. The power goes out and the door won't open. Typical UJC construction. Looks like it's cross-wired. Draws extra power. That's why it needs two fuse boxes. Wait, what the hell was that? Hmm. Guy's having a rough time. All right. So, when you grab this fuse and go over to put it in one of the boxes, you're going to get jumped. We can't avoid the damage from that. All we can do is mash E to try and minimize a little bit. So, here we go. You can grab these guys and throw them around. Don't you run away from me. All right, there is a couple more of these guys. And we can avoid damage from here on out, but there's nothing we can do about that one. I could use an injector if I wanted to, but it actually is probably better just to wait till we find one of the health pouches. You see, we only took a tiny bit of damage, but... Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Let's get him in the water. Go away. Gotta be careful of those spitting guys, man. I just kind of want to get out of this room, to be honest, because you've got these invisible enemies in it, and they can just surprise you. So I'm just going to dip. We need to go this way. Just get out of there, man. Not worth hanging around for too long. All right, sorted. Eventually, we'll find... One of the health pickups that are just lying around rather than using an injector because i want to sell all the injectors if you really want to be you know over the top about it you can just um use an injector but because we're avoiding damage it doesn't really matter not worried about losing like five percent health or something like that oh dear so over on the left here, over there, are some sneaky pickups, but there's also like a bunch of enemies over there. Whatever this is, can't really bother you. But, uh, yeah, it's not worth going over there to get the pickups just because there's, uh, lots of enemies around. There's a bunch of those worms, I'm pretty sure. It's just a waste of ammo to go over there. Alright. So, let's hop, hop for real. Keep it moving. 
slow crawl through the vents. You know how it is. All right. And drop into this area. Lovely. Have a little look. Oh, we got a shop. Nice. Just what we needed. Um, anything in here for us to grab? Not that I can see. We got to turn that wheel in a second. But UGC printing. Have a united day. Let's just sell that. Um, I don't think I can get any upgrades here. Let me have a look. <clears throat> yeah, that's 900. Don't want any of those upgrades. Don't want that upgrade. Yeah, li literally. The only upgrades we really need are these ones. These two. This one. Uh, and... I keep pressing the wrong thing. These ones. And they're all too expensive. So let's just save up for the next ones. And uh, keep moving here. Whoa! Oh, fuck. Oh, did we get them all there? Wow, must have killed like four or five of those things right there. I hear another one though. Another two. Nailed them. Yeah. You can either shoot those guys or just chuck them about. Yeah. Little bit of lag there, mate. So I think now we need to head over this way. Go through there. Let's go. Again, we're just following this red pipe. <clears throat> A little bit of stuttering in this area. The stuttering definitely seems a lot better than it was on my first playthrough, so I'm guessing the patch they brought out has really helped a lot. I'm glad they've fixed it fast, because I know people were just holding off on getting the game because of the performance, so it's nice that they've acted fast. At least people can now get the game and enjoy it. I know people are really funny about their immersion being broken when it comes to games stuttering and stuff like that. Okay. It's kind of rough from a content creation perspective because you want to get the game as soon as possible so you can just make some content for it, you know? Alright, enemies in this room. There's like... Hello. What's up, mate? Oh, Okay. The four-piece... Yeah, I think there's actually a bunch of enemies that show up in here. Let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, God. Throw him over the edge. Ah, oh, what? I didn't lock onto him. BS. See how handy having the... Uh Heavy attackers and just upgrading the the baton in general. The enemies, even on the hard difficulty, they die pretty quick. All right, what's down here? Credits. More credits. I know where we've got to go here to continue, but I just want to make sure that I'm collecting everything. You know, let's have a little look up here then. All right, there's the fuse. Hop back down. Okay, so... Wouldn't let me turn there for some reason. A couple of enemies. One here and there's another one on the side. Let's try and throw him over the edge. So we just gotta fight one. Come on then. Blocks that. Let's go, baby boy. Beautiful. Health gel, nice. So that gets us out of that scripted damage we took earlier. We don't have to use an injector. We can just use that. Let's throw this guy over the edge. Those spitting enemies are annoying. Come on, then. Come on. Yeah, that enemy tends to grab a lot. 
So I like to shoot him first. Oh, and he's done for. You can see how much it pays to get the upgrade for the Baton, man. Uh, these enemies just go down so much quicker when you've upgraded it. Alright, so we got this at the end of EO. We've got a couple of enemies that come behind us, but we've got this tank area that can really help us out with that. So let's open this, grab what we can. Sort it. Then grab this tank area. Just chuck it down the end. Get rid of a couple of them. Make sure we don't get grabbed by this guy. If an enemy's approaching you slowly, it's usually a decent sign that they're going to grab you. Thank you. Credits. How else do we get out of this guy? Credits. Out of this guy. More credits. Did we leave anything in that box? Let me just double check. Oh, yeah, we did. Batteries. Hmm, is there anything... I mean, there's a couple of batteries and a med injector. That's actually really decent. What have we got in the inventory? Two stacks of ammo, two batteries, an injector, and an energy converter. There's not really anything I want to I wanna switch for here. It's a shame that we got to leave behind two batteries. Uh, kind of sucks because the batteries are only worth 10 if you sell them. And they're, like, kind of way more valuable than med injectors to me, you know? Because... They're a little bit scarce further into the game, but they're also so handy when it comes to taking enemies out. And you can't buy them, which is kind of terrible. It'd be nice if this game had some sort of buyback option where if you sold items, it just sat in the event in the uh, shop so you could buy it back later or something. Or like, you know how Dead Space has the safe so you can just put stuff in the safe and come back to it sort of thing. Alright, so our next collectible is coming up. We've got water control in there, which is where we've got to go, but... If we head this way, we can make our way to a collectible. So let's go this way. Put this in here. Or cut this open, sorry. And, oh. It's a bit weird. Dropped out of the sky there a little bit. You're going to hear some enemies in this area. He's just kind of running away. All right, moving on. We've got a med injector there if you want it. There is a shop not too far away. Alright, so we got a battery here. Or a fuse. <clears throat> and we're going to put the fuse in here. Okay. Now uh, we can open up the door. Let's go in here. We got some lockers. Hand cannon ammo. Any credits we find, I'll take. For more handgun cannon ammo. Alright, and now we're in this room. Got more lockers. I think there might be a slug in one of them. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Slugs. Maybe these guys can bugger off. What was going on here? I don't know, but we're destroying them. I am not messing around with that, so. Here's our collectible cocoons. Savalilson. It's J Moon Bell. Uh, there we go. Adams, if you get this, I'm heading for the dome. They've sounded the evacuation. I found Kaylin, but had to leave her behind. She was catatonic in some kind of cocoon. I'm going to try and contact Mahler. Maybe she can still save us. If you find this, just get the hell out of here. Solid advice, solid advice. All right, so our next collectible is... Part of the main storyline, we sort of have to grab it. It's kind of when we first get introduced to, um, what you call it? The, I, th I can't remember if the slugs in there or not. When we introduced to the mutating enemies. Nice. All right, so we got some credits. There's a battery and a prestine energy converter. It might be worth us getting the prestine energy converter because that's worth 200. And if we drop. Either one of these, we essentially just double the money we're getting out of it. Because they're worth 100, but the Prestine is worth um, 2. So it just pays to grab that. Stand up. Right, there we go. What's over there? Is that credits? I will take them credits, baby. Thank you. Alright, so now we got to head back a little bit. Little airlock here. Come on. There we go. 
So to get out of here, we need to switch these batteries over again. We can't go this way. <clears throat> this is just like a little sneaky side area, you know. Or is it? I don't know if we can go into this... Into the room this way. No, we can't. We've got to go back this way. <laughs> Not having a good day, are they? There's nothing to throw him into here, I don't think. He's dead. Nice. Come on, mate. He's getting stunned by the other guy. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not going too well for him. Sit down. Thank you. What else we got in here? Some of that. Did I use enough of my stuff there to get this med injector? No. Thought maybe I'd used a battery or something, but obviously not. Alright. So heading back then, back onto the main path. We gotta go through here now. Here we go. There it is. Number six. Number six. So we do have to fight. Oh. I think I found a way to reach the dawn. Just got a train and a tank. Uh, and then up the ladder to the access hatch. Yes, sir. J just wrapping up. What? First, I've got to nick the console code off that. Hmm. Access denied. Access denied. We gotta look for that guard, boy. Alright, so... Yeah, we need to go and... Get that code off the guard. <clears throat> I'm not sure which way it is. Let's see where this leads. It's one of these ways. Maintenance F4. Oh, maybe it just leads to the same area. Yeah, I think it does. Also, oh no, it doesn't, you know. But, uh... There is, in one of these areas, a shop. So, there's some items and stuff to pick up in here. But let's go and sell our items and come back and just sort everything out. So, in here. Please, make a selection. And we can sell this. We can sell this. Back out. See, look how much. Ten credits. It's just bad that they're worth ten credits. Alright, health. The one that. Health. The one that. I'll take this. All right, let's see what else we got. Just credits. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and sell this injector that we picked up. And then go back to the other room and see what we can grab out of there. I know it's a little bit tedious, but it's basically just the easiest way to farm credits, you know? So we can pretty much pick up everything and then just dip. All right. Some of that. Energy converter. Anything on the shelf there? No, I think that's everything now. Alright. Oh. There we go. Let's go back to the shop. Sell up the med injector and the converter. For all your needs. Beautiful. So we got like actually we've got sixteen hundred credits. I might be able to buy another upgrade. Uh so this is twenty seven hundred, that's the next one we want for that. Uh, what about the grip? We can either get the velocity upgrade or the charges. I'm going to go with the velocity upgrade. I will be getting the charges. But, uh, yeah, the velocity upgrade is so useful if you're grabbing and throwing enemies. It just does mad damage to them. Especially if you get the top one. Like that. It just destroys enemies. Alright, moving on then. Chomped our face off. All right, here we go. Hello. All right, let's just smack. 
smack him up now. He's done for. So those enemies definitely are tough and kind of the way they work is if you let them mutate, they become more powerful. Is our next collectible? Come here, you. So, let's see what we got to pick up in here. What's in here? Kalisto credits. So, we got the code off the guard. Let's move on. Oh, lag. Big boy lag. So, we can go back to water control this way. This just lead us back to that room. Yeah, I think it does. Oh, I lie. So, we can just throw this guy over the edge. Let's fight this guy. You want to make sure when you see those tentacles that you just shoot them quick. Not a lot of fun to deal with, man. Alright, we got the codes. So these enemies can turn invisible, which is difficult to deal with sometimes. Bye. Yeah, you gotta watch out here because there are more of them around. Come here. I said, come here. Come my face. He's here somewhere. I just can't see him. There he is. Out of batteries. At least I think I am. Where'd he go? There he is. I think he's dead. Not sure if that's it. I think it might be. Yep. Some bullets off him. Let's grab everything we can out of this room. I might quickly run and sell some stuff in the shop while we're here. Don't make me jump like that. Yeah, because it just it is annoying having to go back and forth to the shop. So if it's bothering you, trust me, it's bothering me too. Just back and forth like this, because the inventory is so small, but I've got to keep some space in it. Oh, we're actually all right for space, to be fair. We haven't got much else. I need some batteries, man. I ain't got any batteries at all. The, uh... Oh, no, well, I have got a charge in the in the glove, but... Yeah, just it's just annoying that you can't buy batteries. I mean, I guess they didn't want you to have unlimited, you know, use of the grip because of how strong it is, but, uh... Maybe they could have just had a couple in there or something, so you can only buy so many. I understand it because, you know, the grip is really strong. Easily abusable. Alright. So our next collectible is part of the storyline. We have to grab it. Alright. Only got two more to get in this chapter. Oh dear. Come on. Come on. Oof. Correct. Patch sealed. Beginning pressure check. 
And down we go. You're literally running for a sewer. Yeah, it stinks. Let's check if there's anything down here. We gotta go that way, but let's just see if there's anything down here. Never know, man. See, look at this. Oh, it's a battery as well. Beautiful. Just what I need in my life. Always want to try and carry a couple of those. That's kind of why I, I don't want to buy the recharge thing. It does recharge on its own. But you kind of find enough batteries to carry you through and also if you just buy the, the charge upgrades it, each battery just gives you more charges and when you get the the I next suit you can carry way more stuff kind of a fun little section here Super happy fun slide. Riding up the walls and stuff. Go avoid these pillars. Uh. Really fun to experience. Just gotta watch out for them. Close call, close call. That one skimmed my eyelash. You see all the cocoons above you when you're sliding down there? But I'm, I'm sorry, but definite broken back after these drops. Look how far you just flew there. Definite broken back. Oh, that was close. The death scenes in this area are actually really cool, but... Obviously we're not going to see them. think that's more or less it we gotta be ready to mash in a minute yeah we don't take any damage from that again gotta be ready to mash Even though quick time events aren't the most challenging part of a game, stuff like that is really cool. I, I kind of wish they put more stuff like that section in the game. There's only really a few of them. But they are nice. It's enjoyable. But imagine making sequences like that is expensive. grab up whatever we've got around here. Alright. If I try and use this, I can prove to you guys that I didn't take any damage there. Just will not let me use it if I'm pressing the button, because the health's full. Decent, decent. So we got some enemies to deal with in this section. We can just grab this guy, throw him at the wall, do a bit of damage to him. Shoot him in the tentacles. We've got another guy that jumps out this vent. I don't want to move too far forward here, because more enemies can spawn if we do. Alright, again. Gotta look out for those tentacles. Moving forward slowly, just so we can get more enemies to spawn into this area. That right there is a perfect example of why we buy 
the velocity upgrades for the grip. Is that it? Like one throw of it just gets them to mutate. And then we just shoot them a couple of times and they're done, you know? We could long out the fight a little bit if we wanted to by using the melee stuff, but uh, yeah, not really worth. <clears throat> Alright, so I think we got some sneaky pickups here. 37 credits, beautiful. I think this actually might be a side area. I'm not entirely sure. Let's figure it out. Let's see. Maybe we can just get some extra pickups here. Maybe like... Uh... Oh, no, I think this might be where we need to go. Hmm, I think one of these has a slug in it. I think it's the middle one. Yeah, not bothering with that, mate. Sorry. So, is there anywhere else to go here? Sneaky stuff? I don't think so. Alright. I gotta go through this. Let's keep moving forward. Alright, so these chapters do start to get a lot longer, you know? We've almost been on this one for about 45 minutes or so. Long, long, long. I have thoroughly enjoyed this game, though, and it's worth a few more playthroughs to me. I hope they come out with some sort of achievement to do with the harder difficulty. You know, like, beat the game with, you know, dying less than so many times or something like that. I feel like that could be really interesting. I'll happily do that. I mean, doing a no damage run like this it is fun for me. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's just about using checkpoints, really. Whereas, doing some sort of playthrough where you can't use checkpoints, you just need to avoid dying, or maybe there's no checkpoints. And it just comes down to knowing the game very well, you know? I'd really enjoy that. Got these things in the water again. Shoot this. Yeah, hell no to that. I think, uh, to, to continue here, we've got to go this way. Alright, so ahead of us is one of those enemies that grabs you out of the pods. Um, and the only way I've found to hit this shot is to crank your frame rate down to 30. Because he's at the top of a ladder and we kind of have like a split second to hit him. And when you lower your frame rate in games, the an enemies react a little bit slower. Let's see if we can hit this. There we go. Like if you're playing on a higher frame rate, you just won't be able to hit that shot. I don't actually think we've got to come this way. I think it's like a secret. I was really hoping there wasn't a... Uh, nice. What'd you call it in there? Um, a slug. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to play on this resolution and frame rate until we hit a checkpoint, I guess. But like I said, I don't think we've got to come this way. Yeah, it's like a secret. Um, and we just... Are we, uh, didn't we just move that out of the way? Yeah, I think we did. Let's go back a second here. Figure out where we've actually got to go. Yeah, so excuse the game looking like crap at the moment. I need to hit another checkpoint before I can turn it back. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of a, a common thing these days. The 30 frames per second. Is it that? No, we came through here and went that way, didn't we? So, down here is where we've got to go. Yeah, the habitat time. Let me hit this checkpoint and I'll crank the settings back up. Sorry for the game looking terrible right now. Wasn't that something? It should be good once I get down here. We'll hit a checkpoint and I'll be able to just turn my settings back up and stuff. I kind of got myself stuck there. That's like an optional route. I made it through. Copy. Loud and clear, bro. Good timing, too. I'm getting close. Okay, I got eyes in the tram station. I'll meet you there. Yeah, right, give me a checkpoint. Thank you. Lift the lockdown in the dome. Can't dock the tram until you do. 
I had a feeling you weren't telling me everything. Alright, let's go ahead and change these settings. <laughs> Alright, so we're just back here. Look how much better the game looks now. It also looks so much smoother. Um, yeah, sorry about that. There was no way for me to actually get through that section on a higher frame rate. Also, changing my resolution seemed to help. But yeah, it's kind of a common thing in games these days. Speedrunners tend to do that a lot. Alright, we've got one of these robots here, so we got to be careful. Yeah, if you crank settings down to 30, then, uh... <clears throat> well, the frame rate down to 30, then you can get away with more. You'll see that a lot in games like Resident Evil, where people want to be able to run past an enemy in a certain section. And if you crank the frame rate down to 30, you'll be able to squeeze past an enemy or... If you run past it, it won't grab you, you know? I gotta be careful of this guy here. Look how much better the game looks. The game looked so bad in that resolution I was playing in 1080. It was nuts how how reduced the quality looked. Maybe cranking the frame rate down to 30 also lowered some settings, but yeah. Alright, moving on then. We're heading this way. Our next collectible isn't too far off. Alright, super glad I managed to get that done, though. It took me a good few attempts, man. Thank God this run is segmented, or I would have literally been screwed at that point. Oh, dear. Gotta find a so, there. our next collectible is code. right there. Let's go to the shop. UJC printing. Have a united day. All right, and we can actually get another upgrade at this point, I think. So this one's too expensive, too rich for our blood right now. Uh, we could get this one. What else can we get on the what should we call it here? I could get this also. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Get more charges out of our batteries. Okay, so basically when we get this code to open up this lock, we get um, our next collectible from that. Anything else here? No. So we do get attacked in this room. We want to be careful. If we come forward and then run back, we can just grab enemies and chuck them onto this. Oops. He ain't gonna be in Kalisto too. Is that it? As much as I love the whole environmental kills, these things are OP, man. All right, we got a health injector and some other things. Another health injector. Are already stacking up on credits. Those health injectors are worth like a hundred apiece. Alright, so this is the way we need to go. Jesus, you scared me. It's not prepared for you. So if you're unsure if one of those guys is gonna mutate or not, it's a good idea to just um, shoot him on the floor or stomp on him. That also works. Alright. So this is just our main storyline route. Well, hello there. I can't see him. Please die, mate. Jesus. Man, the mist was everywhere. I just couldn't see him, man. That was scary. Alright, what's in here? Distillation. I don't think this is the way we've got to go. See, I think that might just be a little side area, you know? Not sure if I want to go that way, to be honest with you. 
we open this? No. I think we might have to go for it here, you know. Um, no, actually, I think... Can we just jump up here? Yeah, I think this is where we've got to go. I might be able to avoid going that way. Because there's just a bunch of enemies there that I don't want to deal with. Usually I'd try and add a little bit more detail to where we've got to grab this collectible, but to be honest, this is one you have to grab, so... It is what it is. Let's hop down. Alright, let's grab this. Got the lockdown going. Alright, so our next collectible is this way. Pretty much the opposite way that we just went to. Let's get going. And uh, we got to watch out for a worm when we get to this room, but also enemies on the way back. You don't have to come this way, but there's just a collectible here, so we have to come this way. Shoot that. Let's go through here. You want to shoot that one because it's got the worm in it. Let's grab the collectible. Avoid the schematic. There's some bullets there as well if you want them. And... Yeah, so on the way back, we've got an enemy. Let's just be ready for him. Here he is. Come on then, bud. Let's see if I can whack him into this, actually. Very nice. Give me what you got. Thank you. Uh, we are leaving. So. I think we need to... Oh, hello. No, you don't. Block that one. Shoot his chest. Nice. Give me that. Cool. Alright, we need to visit the shop before continuing. Actually, I think we need to use this first, don't we? Yeah, there we go. I'm lifting the lockdown. Only problem is I can't reach it. The walkway collapsed. The utility room across the way has access to the level below. See if you can reach the catwalk from there. And hurry. The storm's getting worse. Alright. Let's head to the shop. I'm gonna just, again, sell these injectors. We don't need them. I might grab some more bullets, though. Uh, we've got 800 credits. And I, it probably just pays to get some bullets here. I could do get some extra ammo. Um, so you can see, I was talking earlier about how some of these pickups or prints out of the machine can be a little bit annoying. So let's say I want to get three of these here. It's 120 a piece. I've got to wait for it to print each time. It's not not a bother if you're only getting two or three, but if you're buying several for like a later boss fight or something like that, you're stood here for ages. Again, small quality of life upgrades. I should just be able to tell the machine I want three of those, and it just gives me three in one print, you know? Wait, oh, yeah. okay, I was stuck in my ADS there, whatever. All right, so we want to watch out for this robot here. He is absolutely annoying. He can throw big wrenches in the works when it comes to what we're doing here. There's a bunch of enemies that spawn in the trees, and... Uh, we need to wait for them. Well, if we move forward, they'll spawn in, but we need to wait for him to go away. And they kind of just serve as spawn points for where these guys can come in. I'm pretty sure you can't kill them all. They just sort of keep coming, which is very annoying. We need to get over there. So, there we go. Just throw him. Throw this guy. Oh, that wasn't what we wanted to do. Lovely. It's a waste of battery that we can't really afford at the moment. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Let's run. Need to be quick here. Dodge him. Lovely. Keep going. Yeah, we need to be so careful about what we're doing in this area. Just because of that robot. I kind of want to hang here for a minute. The annoying thing about this robot is he won't kill these enemies. Alright, let's go. Let's go. See if we can make it now. Yeah, he only comes after you. Alright, let's go. I gotta go. Hopefully we get a checkpoint here. Come on. 
Lovely. That section is hard. Just because I think you can't actually clear... I don't know what happened there. You can't actually clear out all the enemies. Uh-oh. Is he coming in? I think one's coming in, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can clear out everybody there. They just sort of keep coming. Alright, there's a schematic for the skunk gun. We don't want that. Um, our next collectible is in this area. I think it's through here. But let me have a little look around. I'm glad we just hit that checkpoint because that area is just kind of tricky. Oh, actually, I think we might need to go down there. But uh, our next collectible is um, from here, this way. Um, this is an optional area. You don't need to come here. kind of sucky that I don't have much battery right now. There are some tough enemies in this area to deal with. I might just use my gun though. Let's get these lockers. Oh, battery lovely. I needed that. I might still save it though. I really need to be careful of the enemies that are in this area. I've got plenty of ammo. Which I'm happy to use. Back up. Thin out their numbers. Ah, oh, that one's dead. I'm happy to fight one guy. Let's go. Oh, that guy's mutating. That sort of sucks. I get him. I think I got him. All right, come on then, mate. Yeah, he went for the one. Yeah, so I'm trying to save my battery at the moment. Dealing with those guys on this difficulty can be rough uh, rough because I killed them from a distance. I couldn't really see that they were mutating, but it's okay. Managed to get the one away. It's so uh, nerve-wracking when you've got a couple of enemies together like that. All right, so evacuation. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Officer Kyle Serra. Uh, where's that? There it is. Oh, are we just not going to get to hear this one? <laughs> what the hell? That's weird. Let me see if I back out of this and maybe go ahead a little bit. It'll, if it'll let, let us listen to it. That's kind of crap. Just straight up doesn't want to play this one. Oh, it's, yeah, cool story, bro, I guess. Cool story. So, I think that is our last collectible. Let me have a look. So, we've got... James Reese, one out of two. I think that counts across all collect all chapters, though. Like, it's the same with Caitlin. She's got two out of four. We've already found one of hers. And if it says zero out of zero, it just means you find the guy's profile. So, yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm guessing we got a profile off one of these guys as well to count for seven. Uh, so, yeah, that's all of, the, all of the collectibles. Beautiful. Very nice, very nice. All right, then. Moving on. So now we need to drop down that thing we looked at earlier. Some of these fights can get really intense, man. Especially when you're in a situation where you don't have a lot of battery. Like, I didn't have a lot of battery there. I think if you would have taken one of the optional routes that I didn't take a little bit earlier, you got a chance to get some more battery, which is nice for fighting in that section because you can just throw the enemies off the edge and then avoid the robot, you know? All right, what's this guy got? Nothing. So, I think we are coming towards the end of this chapter now. Not a huge amount left of it. Anything else around here? Let's take a look. No. All right, let's go ahead. Smash this open. Definitely getting some frame, ra frame rate drops here. So, yeah, we fight a lot of enemies here, but we can just chuck them into this thing. Ah, 
Ah, uh, missed. Only downside to doing that is, uh, we don't get any of their loot, you know? Are there more I'm not seeing? I don't think so. Alright. Anything around this corner? We have got to go over there to continue, but I just want to check if there's any pickups. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's move on then. Yeah, you can see how overpowered the battery stuff is. And it, it does recharge naturally over time, but... Um... You yeah, know. I feel like that's one of the weaker upgrades. Alright. Come on, then. I'm coming, I'm coming. Stop your hollering. Yeah, getting some big frame drops here, man. Jacob, boy, over here. Hello. We're not, not going as it looks. Come up. So, what's going on, mate? That? Oh, there we go. That depends. Do you want to get off this rock? Yes. Yeah, that's a good point. <sighs> Say, you look like shit. Yeah, I look like shit. Huh? I smell like a too because somebody forgot to mention that I'd be swimming in it. I told you it wouldn't be easy. But what matters is that you made it, yeah? No, yeah, well, we both did. Uh, not quite yet. We're nearly there. Come on, give us your hand. Uh oh. He's trying to eat my shoe. Quick, get to the train station. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I think those things are changing. They're evolving. Yeah, I think we need to get the hell out of here. What's with the suit? The station got damaged during evacuation. We've got to go outside to access the tram. Here. Get suited up. we still got to beat that storm. When you're ready, I'll cycle the airlock. I never asked you. What are you in for? <laughs> what? You worried you're helping a murderer escape? Well, yeah, kind of. Well, you are, man. So what? Look, it was a long time ago, yeah? I was defending myself. Wrong place, wrong time. I made a lot of bad decisions back then. Yeah, well, you were probably just dealt the shitty hand. No. No, no. It was just to blame everyone else. But then I realized this was on me. You can't keep running from what you've done. Not just a price, a price. <laughs> oh, the roids are kicking in on that guy. All right. So that's the end of this chapter. Very nice.
Okay. Let's go. So How the fuck is he still alive? We got a new suit. Where are you? And we have a lot more inventory space in this suit. You pretty much have like I think it's ten or twelve spaces now. Which is decent. Compared to the seven we had before. So I'm really glad that they didn't incorporate too much of the outdoors into this game. It's in it a little bit, like here and in a couple of sections in this chapter. But uh, they haven't incorporated it too much into it, which I really like. I haven't gone Dead Space 3 on us. Which, let's be honest, is for the best. No game should go Dead Space 3. So we see a zombie in a minute, I'm pretty sure. I hope I'm going the right way. This is a trek, mate. Okay, here we go. Let's get it, bud. Very nice. Right, stomp him up. Let's go. Moving on then. So, eight collectibles to get in this chapter. We'll get them all, mate. If you can hear me, activate your emergency beacon. Here, Elias. The beacon. Hold on, buddy. I'm coming, Elias. Oh, he's having a bad day, boys. Let's get down there. Did you get out, though? I'll see you on the other side. to trust you. How did you find us? Emergency beacon. You're lucky I'm the one who picked it up. Okay, too late. Not for what I need. He knew Black Iron like the back of his hand. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Now I do too. Don't know what Jacob's complaining about. He's been doing that the whole time. Hey, wait! Wait! Where do you think you're going? I'm a pilot! You need me! Hangers that way. Better start walking. 
What a dick. Can we stomp him for loot? No, no. Gotta get to that anger. Surely he had a few credits, mate. Alright. So we should get out of this storm. We've got our first collectible coming up. It's in one of these little rooms, C2. Pretty sure it's this one. Oh no, it isn't. It isn't this one. Wait, 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 wait. This is a sneaky one. It's uh, over this way somewhere. Let's go check the one at the back. This one, maybe? Aha, yeah. Here we go. Miranda Christofich. Christofich? Christofich? Probably not saying that right. Uh, There she is. Anything else in this room? There's also another little side room next to us as well, which is just over here somewhere. Let's go have a look. Energy converter. Not seeing anything else. Hmm. Yeah, this way. Nah. There is that little sneaky route over there. Let's see if we can get any pickups out of there. Ah, shop. Just what we needed. Although we do have way more inventory slots now, which is nice. UGC printing for all your needs. Sell the med injector, sell the energy converter. Um, I don't think we can get any upgrades here. No. Uh uh, this is the next one we want, and it's like 900, so... Let's keep it going. Plenty of time to get these. Last few upgrades that we want. Alright. So... Down here, we've got these enemies that are, uh, like, frozen. And if you don't see icicles hanging off the enemies, then they will come to life and attack you, so... They're fully bluffing you, mate. Keep an eye on those icicles. Right, moving on. So, he's an actual frozen enemy. How about the other one? There's another one over there. Get this med injector. He's actually frozen. He's actually frozen. You can sort of tell by the way they look as well. Like, if you look at that guy, he looks a lot different to the guy over there. Actually, no, I think that one was one too. Are there spike walls here somewhere? That's where I saw one. No? Looks like we're just fighting this guy. We got some credits here. Let's grab those. Huh. Oh, they're right there, look. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't get him. There we go. Very nice. And this guy as well. Easy. Thank you. This guy we can just smash. Put him out of his misery. Let's move on. Alright, let's go. A couple of enemies are going to pop out the snow heel. So these guys... can now do up to three swings with the dodge. So you need to be careful when you're dodging these guys and just read what they're doing. What's up, bud? He went for two. Oh, then he blocked me. Two again. He blocked me again, dude. 
This guy likes his blocks. Decent. Let's go. Stay on guard here. We might have more that pop out on us. Can't sprint at the moment. We are forced to walk. We're getting there, though. Can't remember if we get attacked here or not. I don't think we do. We need to shimmy. I need to go around. Oh, wait. Huh. Do we go here? Oh, yeah, we go. Pretty sure there's a shimmy spot up ahead somewhere. Bridge is barely holding up. Here we go. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Right. So, we've got an area coming up where... Alright, we want to be careful here for an enemy that appears from up here. <laughs> Caught him out of midair. Those guys are annoying, man. But because they're outside and they're getting hit with snow, they uh, can't remain invisible. So if we come over here, we can get this gate closed. So it starts closing on its own. And that. Alright, mate. That also makes the enemies in this area start coming at you. So it triggers what's happening here. You'll hear them coming. Just be ready to shoot these canisters. There we go. A little bit of lag there also. Bro, you need to relax. There's also an enemy that can spawn here. Like, he's, it's a normal guy, though. Need to be ready for that. Dead. Sort of watching out for that guy spawning up. As you move forward, more will start to spawn. There's a normal enemy that can pop out of the snow around here somewhere. He's not mutating, that's good. Let's take whatever he's got. More of these invisible dudes will start spawning as well. Be careful of them. One will come across here. Usually. There we go. What else we got? There he is. So... We got a normal enemy there trying to get out. There's also one heal. Oh, really? I think he was stuck in the animation. That's why that didn't work. All right, let's pick up the stuff from him. This is where we've got to go to continue. Um, but before we do continue, we want to head back this way and deal with this enemy because there's, there's a collectible in there. Oh, 
Oh, he's done. There we go. We can just use a canister to get rid of this guy. You kind of, I guess we'll wait for his animation to finish. There he goes. Good night. All right. So you should get a collect, uh, it's not a collectible, a checkpoint in here. There's some hand cannon ammo. Also, collectible right here. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's actually just a profile. I think. Decent. Alright. Uh, anything else in here? Don't think so. Might have some more enemies here. I think I just saw one. I don't trust that, man. I'm on edge enough as it is. Let's keep going. Head over this way. In here. Down we go. Okay. So, our next collectible is just after a crawl space we have to go through. Let's keep our eyes peeled for that. So, generally watch out for enemies as well. Watch out for the worm here. It's there. Don't trust it, man. Swear I heard it. Things messing with my brain. All right, let's go. So again, this is kind of just along the main storyline route. So now that we're here, we're going to head this way. And our collectible's right here. Combusters. Let's have a listen. I think it's one of Caitlin's. Here we go, Combusters. A new form of biophage capable of spontaneous combustion. Originally, I thought it might be native, but the morphology is clearly human. The subject was outfitted with a Mark One implant. Perhaps something that made its way up from Arcus? What I do know is that Cold has changed. Nothing's been the same since Europa. He's up to something. Alright. Sorted. I got a locker here to look in as well. Gotta be careful of the lockers that have the worms in them, man. They're really annoying. Okay. Uh, can't go that way. We'll go in this way then. Our next collectible is when we meet Danny a little bit further on. So I think that down there is one of those neck jumpers. No? Okay. No bother. I think I've got enough ammo to waste one. That doesn't bother me too much. Stay away from me. Oh, hello. Yeah, these guys explode, so we have to be kind of careful of them. This guy might be coming for us. Let's hold out. Might jump out of a vent. That's where we came from. Right, let's have a look around. Some bullets. Take that. So we're heading this way. Let's go. Always on edge in these sort of cloudy areas. Can't really see too far ahead of you, you know. Okay, who wants it? That is our first combustor. Shoot him once. And he's done. I think that's the way we gotta go. Let me just have a look down here for maybe a sneaky pickup. No. Not one over there either. Alright, let's go. Gotta check those corners. Alright. 
Hello. Sneaky bugger. Waiting on the corner for me. That ain't cool, bro. Would you drop me? And get anything off him? I think as we come up here, there's uh, another one of those combustors we need to look out for. Maybe? No. It's around here somewhere, mate. Always on edge because of those things that can grab you from afar. No. God. So clenchy down here in the dark. Alright, let's go. We're also in these sections where we can't really move too quickly. Let's check this. Ammo. Beautiful. Alright. Let's get rid of him. Worm. Yeah, no. Another one. Nothing down there. No, we're good. Sneak a peek around this corner, see if there's any of those weird worm things hanging around. No, we're alright. I hear the bucket. The bucket tech. Hmm. Sneak peeks. It's a great thing about third person, man. You can look around corners without showing your hitbox. Something's making a lot of noise here. I'm going to crouch down. Maybe we can sneak up on this guy. Seems like it, don't it? You, good sir. Let's head up here. No, you don't. Sneaky gets. A couple of worms with that one as well. Keep him back, keep him back. Got more bullets here. Or... What was there? No, I must be imagining things. Alright, what's down here then? More bullets. A few credits. Alright, this way. Just take it nice and slow. Come on, mate. He's going for the grab. You can just tell. There we go. Give me that. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to rush around corners in this area just because we can have some sneaky enemies hanging around. Alright. Moving up. Back outside then. Yeah, games like this should feel claustrophobic. And if you're spending a ton of side, ton of ton, uh, sorry, messing up my words, a ton of time outside, um, in wide open spaces, it just doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel as scary. You know, you should feel like your back is constantly pressed against the wall in these kind of games for it to be effectively creepy. All right, let's go. All right, let's grab this guy. Chuck him over there. All right, never died. Oh, come on, bro. Get on the thing. We got more coming. Uh-oh. Yeah, none of that, mate. Loot. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, hello, sir. Take a seat right over there. Thank you. Let's 
really loud in this area. Keeps you on edge, man. Alright. Enemy's gonna jump up here. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Easy. Oh, here he is. So those guys mutate from the face. Gotta look out for that, man. Now get up here. I'm coming, I'm coming. So here is where Danny gives us the riot gun, which is pretty much the only other weapon we'll use in this playthrough. I want to use this at the moment. I keep to my pistol. And we've got another collectible coming up just up here. It is, I believe, in one of these corners. Here it is. This is again along the main storyline path. Sorted. So we can use that to activate these controls, I think. I will try. No promises. So, again, our next collectible is along the main storyline path. We have to get this one. So, don't worry too much about missing it. Have a united day. Let's go ahead and sell the, like, six of these that we have. So, I should have enough to get a couple of upgrades here, or at least one. These ones, again, are like 2700 which is super expensive. But uh, how much are these? Again, 2700 I, I want this one, which is 900 And that'll mean that if the enemies raise up their arm to block an attack from the baton, it'll break their arm, which is really useful, just because when an enemy has one arm, they can't grab you, so that helps us out a lot. And they also can only swing once at a time, which is decent. Uh, also, we just got the riot gun. I will put some money into that. The first upgrade is only 300 And uh, I, I can get both of these, actually. I might just get both of these, because that brings up the damage on it a little bit. Uh, this one isn't actually that much of a bother. I might just get these two and call it a day with this gun. Unless I have a ton of excess of credits at the end. Um, but it's only 600 just to uh, upgrade the damage output of the riot gun just a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that now. If you're wondering what other guns the game has, it has kind of like a small shotgun. It's called the skunk gun, and that's kind of what it's like. It just fires a couple of bullets at once. There's also uh, a another pistol that fires a lot faster than this one, but is nowhere near as powerful. And there's an assault rifle as well. Never really used the assault rifle, because you have to pay 800 credits each time for the weapons. And I feel like it's more efficient to upgrade a couple of guns rather than spreading upgrades across like four or five guns. Switching guns constantly in combat is really tedious. Now that we've got the riot gun, we can switch between... All 
Right. So we've got an enemy just behind this door we need to watch out for. One of the spitters. Here he comes. Gotta wait for the elevator to come down. Let's just grab him and throw him. I actually did him in. Get destroyed, bud. Yeah, getting the upgrade for the grip is probably what I want to get next. Because if you grab and throw an enemy with a maximum velocity upgrade, you do a ton of damage to him and it just makes things so much easier. In regards to just killing enemies, especially when you're in a situation where there's no environmental damage you can do to an enemy. You just grab them and throw them into a wall and they'll pretty much just die. You'll be very close to it, so... When you're in an area where you can just throw someone around and get rid of them, it's great. Oh, I need the fuse. Just throw them into a wall and they die or... Throw them into, like, uh, well, off an edge or something. It's pretty fun. It does make things a little bit easy in the game, but, uh, you know, is what it is, I guess. See what we got in here. I think there's it's a slug in that locker, so don't bother with that. We got here. Control panel. Up we go. Up and over. Come on. There we go. Anything over here? Oh, that's where we came from. This is the way we want to go. This guy doesn't get released to attack you. We just need to go this way. So in here is our next collectible. But again, this is part of the story. You have to grab this in order to progress. We've got Prestine Energy Converter. And our collectible. Alright, so... Enemies are going to spawn up now. Let's run over to the back. You kind of want to avoid throwing enemies into this turbine. Because there's a pole in the way of it. No spit in for you. Rude. Alright, let's wait for this other guy to show up. Here he comes. Look at him. Hiding in the corner. Come here, mate. Come here. I thought he went invisible, but he didn't. He didn't even get chunked. He just bounced off that and died. Alright, where are they? Where are they? I hear them. Don't see them. Oh, missed him. There we go. I think that's it. I'm telling you, man. These fans are a safety hazard. Alright. Forget wearing ear muffs or ear defenders or safety goggles. Need a bloody stab-proof suit with that thing around. Alright, so that collectible we picked up was just a... Um... A profile, I believe? Whose was it? I think it was this guy. Oh no, maybe it wasn't. Or maybe... Who was it? Could have been this guy? Or this guy? Yeah, a third... It's either one of these. Yeah, it's this one, I think. Yeah, so you get like a, you know... The gatehouse dual access control system operates under a two-person rule. Authentication system. Current access codes must be uh, one entered in control rooms, one and two activated at the same moment in order to open the main gate. And that's pretty much what we're doing right now. All right. So we're going up here. Our next collectible is actually one of Max's. And it's when we revisit our ship in a little bit. Okay, so we got a couple of pickups in this room, maybe. We got one. Where's the other one? No of us. No? Alright, cool. So UJC here we go. At your service. What else we got? I haven't really got I ain't got a lot of credits here, so I guess I'm just leaving this for now. Saving up them credits for a big boy upgrade. We gotta use this next console to continue, which is just over here. Two, one. Okay, I'll pull the snow cat around. Meet you outside. Now you better. Oh. 
Alright, um... Enemies! Hello? No? or no worms. Let's see. Sweet. We got a decoder, some Kalisto credits. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're heading this way. Back outside, and we want to be careful here because of these knobheads that are around. Alright, so I think we can just run through this section, although there are some enemies that obviously come alive here. Which is a bit creepy. There's a couple of them here, actually. One there. One there. Oh, that isn't one? Okay. Get away. Run this way. Go, 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 go. Run. Open the door. Yeah, I'm here, mate. Open the door. He's not a happy bunny. Hey, the hangar's the other way. I know. Well then, where are you going? Huh? I'll be back. What? Wait. Hey! Hey! Hey, get back here! <sighs> We can't run in this section, but Danny can. Just allows it to get ahead of us. Where the hell are you going? Alright, so... A few more collectibles in this chapter. One of them we're about to get in the ship, which is Max's Concern. This is where it all started. It's kind of creepy about this, is Max is gone. I feel like it would be cool if he was still here. Maybe he's become one of the... Thing is... Enemies, monsters, whatever. But well, here is the collectible. Let's have a little listen. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Beautiful. Okay. Got a little pick up here as well. Some probably some credits. Yep. Hey. What are you doing? What's in here? Uh medical supplies? Bullshit. Open it. Why? Because I said so. We're not going anywhere until you do. <laughs> Okay, fine. Yep, just like I told you. But records show you made multiple drops right before the incident. Yeah, me and a dozen other cargo ships. Don't try to talk your way out of this. I know you were involved. I had nothing to do with what happened on your old What's wrong with you? Uh, it's, it's, it's implant is 
messing with my head. This doesn't make any sense. But I'm gonna figure it out. In the meantime, you better pull it together. Someone's gonna fly us out of here. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> this way. So what so, uh, were you expecting to find? Oh. UJC bioweapon. Traced it from Europa to here. To my ship? I thought so. Control room's just up ahead. Get ready. Our uh, next collectible then. It's just ahead of us a little bit. In there. Let's run ahead of Danny and just go and grab that. It's right here. Beautiful. Sergeant Scott Davitney. Where's that? There it is. What'd you do? I don't know. I'm a clear as you work, but I'm locked out of the system. Stand down. No, wait. I'm the ship commander. Lethal force has been authorized. Override. We're guards. Override. Whoa. All right. I get nothing out of that week. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in here to grab. There is another collectible close by, though. Not too far off. Come on, Danny. Of Black oh. Iron. Let me be the first to welcome you to Callisto. You have arrived at an exciting time. The beginning of a new and brighter future. <laughs> yeah, right, mate. Let's go. Airlock. Hurry it up, Danny. Hey, back there. Why did you do that to Elias? I was in a hurry. Didn't have time to transfer the data. I need to know everything I can about what's happening here. But you just ripped it out. Like you haven't done the same. Not to some way I know. Did you really know him? Or were you just using him to escape? I mean, to be honest, mate, he was he was dead. Like, and you have been doing it to people. You may not have known them, but they're still people. Ships parked in orbit. I'll activate the remote call down. Yeah, you hurry up. I want to open this chest. We can take the elevator in the next room up to the landing deck. Nice. Yeah, that's where we took off from. Yeah. I know. Okay. I'll get the elevator. System six. Our next collectible's just up here. They're killing everyone. My guess is someone's trying to cover up what's happening here. Alright, so she tells you to have a look around and pretty much the only thing. Look around. You wanna grab us here? Dr. Caitlin. Uh, which one was that? Was it? No, it wasn't Corruptors. It wasn't Combusters. I think it was their shipments. Beautiful. That's all the collectibles in this chapter. Sorted. Anything up here to grab? Looks like there's some in there. Prestine energy converter, very nice. All right, moving on. Come on then, bud. Have I got to press the button for you or something? Okay, see ya. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> the robot warbles. Right, let's go. I know. Lag. 
About what? About any of this. Whatever the hell's going on around here. I saw something like it before. Back on Europa. Europa? Well, the news report said that was all on you. UGC propaganda. Things aren't always what they seem. Kind of like me. And that cargo you thought I was hauling. Maybe. I'd sure like to think so. Mmm. All right. There it is. It's two minutes out. It's right on time. It's a hell of a lot bigger than my old ship. Think you could fly it? Yeah, I'll fly anything that gets us off this rock. Wait, what are you doing? It's not me. No. One must learn to accept what they cannot control. Still, I'm impressed that you made it this far. Perhaps you both have potential after all. Mr. B. Ms. Nakamura, your journey was especially long. All the way from Europa. What'd she say? But I'm afraid there's just too much at stake here. And the protocol cannot be broken. So, though your story ends here, please know that you have my respect. Wait. No! No! You don't have us. Go! 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 So you get a prompt to grab Danny's hand here. I'm going to mash E and see if we can grab it. It doesn't matter if you grab it or not. This section is very Dead Space 2-esque. So we want to go left and then right. Over here. And then to the left. Hard left, hard left. Oh, that's close. Oh, let's not smack that. Okay. Uh, through the gap on the right. Through this hole that's coming now. There we go. Press E here. Beautiful. Sorry, but that's a definite dislocated shoulder grabbing onto that. I don't know what the gravity is around here, but come on now. Okay. Chapter complete. Jacob. 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 Come on. We gotta move. Hurry. It's still coming down. Way. We almost got killed just trying to get out of Black this Iron. This isn't about escape, Jacob. No, what's it about? Not anymore. What's it about? Answers. 
Why did the warden shoot down one of his own ships? I don't know. And how is it connected to Europa? This is supposed to be just another fucking job. <sighs> this is crazy. I know. But what choice do we have? Come on. What choice do we have? Anytime someone says something dramatic in a game, I just always imagine it in Cartman's voice. I know what choice do we have. Tell they built a prison here. UJC's gotta make money somehow. Damn you, South Park. Surprise there's still power. Those old fusion generators. Ruining drama for me. All right. Like so, still coming down. five collectibles in this chapter, well, and uh, a few down. yeah, not so many in this party. one. I hope this plan of yours doesn't get us both killed. I'm trying to not talk through dialogue every time I kind of say something, these guys start talking. Do my best to show the storyline. This is the place, right? Yeah, but I don't see the elevator. Shit, it's busted. I was hoping we'd get lucky. But this whole place is falling apart. Well, there's got to be another way down. Then let's find it. Come on. Oh, is it now? All right. So, let's make our way, excuse me, little lady. So we do get separated from Danny, surely. And this chapter is kind of slow because there's a Look lot out. of stealth in it and it just takes a long time to get through everything. But that's all right. Another way. I'll meet up with you. Just be careful. It's worse than I thought in here. Also, there's a uh, achievement for finding an, the other secret room in this chapter. There's also a collectible there, so we'll be covering that. Is this thing gonna hold? I'm pretty sure if you try not to follow this it. guide. I mean, you could use it to get all of the hard achievements. Most of the achievements in this game ain't too difficult. Just really the collectibles are the ones that you might struggle to get all of. Unless you're really spending some time looking around. Uh, wait. I'm confused. And this the way we gotta go? No? Alright, I'm going back then. Maybe we gotta... Head this way. Oh yeah, we've got to jump down here. Okay. Easy credits back there, yeah. though. I told you to be careful. Yeah, right. I am being careful. What do you think I'm doing? Jesus, slapping my feet around haphazardly, mate. Freaking apocalypse going on around us, or something. Not exactly gonna run around with my eyes closed. Found a All right. I'm heading down. So you're a ladder. getting there. So it's just us for a bit. Over here. 
We have got a new enemy type. In this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to search for pickups first. You know, that's important, right? Come on, mate, you can do better than that. That was that weak pull up. Come on. You would think he'd react differently there. Because he doesn't know these guys react to sound. You'd think he'd like pull out his gun or something? Rather than just waiting to die, I guess? Heh. <laughs> so, with these enemies, you can sneak up on them a lot. If you shoot. Hello. Jesus. I was lucky to get away with that. Uh oh. Ah, screw it. What the fuck was that? You sure? That was a bunch of dead dudes. Our first collectible's coming up, just down here. We want to be careful of this dude. Alright, he sneaks through that hole in the wall. Here's our collectible. Field log. Let's go ahead and look at that. Stephanie Yoon. Oh, that was field log. Okay, so like I mentioned before, only five um, collectibles in this one. Sorry if I sound all nasally, I just sneezed a bunch of times. Ugh. All right, this way. Let's go ahead and crack this open. There's a load of enemies here, so be careful. I wonder if we grab one and chuck it, if uh, the others hear it. Let's find out. Nope. Whoops. Uh oh. I believe the correct terminology is wrecked. So using the baton and stomping doesn't wake these guys up either. Is that one still in the wall? I think it is. Maybe that one doesn't wake up or something? Yeah, you can sneak around here as well and use stealth. Um, but that's up to you. I actually shot by mistake there. 
Okay. I kind of feel like having a slight frame rate below 60 can make the game look a little bit more cinematic. 30 is too low because it makes the footage look choppy, but 60 for playing the game is nice. We got more coming. I think we have. 60 for playing the game is really nice, but uh, 30 is too low. Like I said, looks choppy. Alright, so if you try and walk through these guys, one of them will wake up. If you stand up, this one will come out of the wall. Back up a little bit. He'll turn back around. And then you can go stab him if you want to. Or you can shoot him, it's up to you. Yeah, the other guys don't wake up if you stab them. I'm not sure which one, but one of these lockers has a slug in it, and I just don't want to open any of them. I'm staying crouched here so I don't wake up that guy. Yeah. Let me know if you guys agree with that. If you think that just under 60 FPS can kind of make the game look a little bit more cinematic and... Authority's definitely too low. Oh god, come on. Grab the right thing. Uh, I'd say 60 is preferable for playing a game, but 30 is just terrible. But uh, for watching a game, I feel like just under 60. So down there is one of those grabby things we need to be careful of. Just under 60, maybe like 50, makes the game look a little bit more cinematic when you're watching it. Kind of gives a different aesthetic. It's weird how, diff weird how different frame rates give different as aesthetics to the game. All right. So this guy is mega in the way. Oh god, he woke up. Oh god. Come on, man. Don't grab me. Thank you. Here comes his mates. I want to shoot this pod heal. Let's run up a little bit, move up here. One's going to come from here probably right now. Yep. Let's throw him at the wall. Some good damage on him. He's mutating. Get rid of him. I did not expect that guy to wake up over there. Alright, okay. Um, let's grab some of this. Q, we got a shop here, beautiful. Oh yeah, right mate, we get 500 for these, beautiful. I got a ton of credits, but the next upgrade we want, I think, is like 2700. Let's have a look. Yeah, 2700. Don't want them. 2700. 2700. I don't think I want any other upgrades except for those ones now. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta be careful. This looks a bit gruesome. Yeah. Uh oh. Has he actually sit me? No, oh, alright, we can probably sneak up on this guy and stab him then quickly. There we go. Sit down, bud. Yeah, so our next collectible's coming up. We gotta go through here. space. Son of a gun. Let's keep going. That was, close. that was a close one, boys. You said it. All right. So, let's keep moving up. These guys are everywhere, by the way, so you kind of need to be careful those graphics. This game does look really nice visually with the graphics cranked up. Alright, little Prestine Energy Converter. Beautiful, I'll take that. Um, we've got one of those things that grabs you here. Does that alert the others? It does. Hold up. Damn it. I'm not trying to grab all of that. 
Oh, God. Can you grab what I want you to grab, please? Oh, my, how much crap is in this area? Jesus. I think I had me worried for a second there. I'm just trying to grab that tank and it just grabs everything but the tank. Oh, God. I feel like that thing could use some fine tuning. Uh. Alright, so our next collectible. Is that worm? Oh, God, don't scare me like that. Our next collectible is just heal. Here we go. Dr. Sheehan Yoon, field log number two. Let's go have a look at that. for you. Alright, moving on then. This is the way we gotta go. Only a few more collectibles to get. This is a pretty big chapter and it takes long because we're gonna play it stealthily. You can run through a lot of this chapter from what I've seen, but because uh, we're doing no damage, we can't do that. We gotta be careful, man. Get destroyed. Jesus. Yeah, stuff like this uh, in Dead Space. I know this game is not Dead Space, but it's kind of Dead Space X esque. You could, like, stomp this guy and he'd shatter into pieces. Oh, his leg actually came off. His leg did come off. I'll take it, I guess. No physics on him, but, you know, that's something. I'll eat those words happily, man. Kind of wish he just moved. You know what I mean? If he stomped him, like, he flopped him out a little bit. You could argue rigor mortis, but, you know. I'm sure those of you that are big Dead Space fans know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's one of those things, you know, the dead bodies in Dead Space were kind of like part of the gameplay. Because the necromorphs, I think they were called the infectors, would bring them back to life. So they were kind of more vital to the gameplay, you know what I mean? Uh, that was a spitter, not one of the other guys. How many jaws he's got? They're like three jaws. Alright, we're gonna have another enemy jump out on us here, but he's one of those audio based enemies we don't have to worry about too much. Let's leave him alone and just move up here. He might attack us in a minute though, because we've got to kill an enemy up here that we do have to shoot. So. Anything up here? No? We can stab this guy. And then we open this door, another enemy's gonna pop out of this vent. So we wanna move quickly. Oh, is he not coming? Okay, I guess we'll take it. Last time I did that, an enemy popped out of that vent. So this section really sucks. There are a ton of enemies here, and we're going to sneak around and try and get them all, but it isn't easy. There's lots and lots of these audio-based enemies in this area. I think you've got to kill something like 15 of them. And the problem is, even if you run away from them and go to another area, they follow you into the next area. Can't stab him. Why can't I stab him? Why won't let me stab him. There we go. Yeah, one thing to note is that if you stab one of these enemies, the other ones don't hear it. And that's kind of misleading because you get like this big audio cue happen. It's like music kicks in when you do it and it makes you think, oh god, everyone's heard that. But none of them hear it, so... It's a bit frustrating at times. When you well, it's misleading when you, when you first start doing this. You kind of think everyone's going to react to you stabbing one. The first time you come here you're kind of like, oh, am I going to get discovered if I stab one of these guys in the back, you know? 
But you don't, it's nice. It's nice. It's actually nice to you. The stealth mechanic is actually really simple. In this game. Same as stomping, they don't hear that evil. But in this area, these enemies just keep freaking coming. There's so many of them. We've got like another three in front of us. It's insane. Those two are hugging each other. Let's try and get rid of this guy. See what we can work out after that. Oh god, they're close. So even if one of these guys is like touching you when you execute one, they they don't hear you. I kind of think it's a bit stupid. <clears throat> they should have more of like a range with their hearing so that if you make a noise, you know, in their immediate area or if you're touching them when you execute one, they, they might, you know, discover you. But it is what it is, you know how it goes. So there's a schematic down here. Let's have a look what it is, just to get it. Hello. Turn around. Thank you. This guy takes orders well. I think we've killed like eight of these already or something. Anyway, let's check what schematic this is. It's the tactical pistol. So you can always get that here. It's kind of nice that if you miss a schematic in this game, it appears in different places so you can get it again. You know what I mean? It's kind of decent like that. Oh, God. Hello. You're a bit too close for comfort there, bud. Jesus. I do like that I can stomp an enemy as I take him down. Without the others hearing it, just means I can actually get the loot off their bodies and not miss any. I have a feeling that some of these guys might despawn after I kill so many, you know what I mean? Oops. There we go. So our next collectible, I think, is over... It's over, over here, or... In there, one of the two. I'm pretty sure it's over there, actually, but we'll see. There's a couple around here that we have to get, anyway. We'll get them both, don't worry. I wouldn't let you down. Can't stab him. Sometimes the game just won't let you stab. I think it might have something to do if you, if you, with if you've got your gun out. So also, a quick reminder, they're coming out with a DLC for this game. They're going to have, like, different modes and stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to be storyline-based. Um, I don't know any of the details, but I know there's some modes that they're going to bring out. And uh, I'm going to be covering that when it comes out. So if you're new here, remember the channel name, man. Come back and watch me do the DLC. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget, man, sub up if you're enjoying the video, if you like this kind of content. I make a lot of it. I do a lot of guides for games. If you like collectibles and achievement guides, I do a lot of that. Um, I also stream, if you're interested in that, over at twitch.tv slash iframes. If you're an existing sub and you've been around for a while and you don't already, do me a favor and slap notifications on just by clicking the bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, I can get one of these upgrades. Which one do I want? This. This. Um, I'm not really bothered about this too much, actually. I don't really think I need this one. This would be nice. Or... Either one of these. I feel like this one is super useful. It that makes, uh, makes it so you do a lot of damage. I will get... I'll get all of them, to be honest. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get this one first. But yeah, if you're an existing stub... So, stub... If you're an existing subscriber, turning on notifications really helps the channel. If you've been wondering why you don't get notified when I get a new video or you don't see it pop up in your feed, it's probably because you don't have notifications on. Go ahead and click that bell icon. It really helps out the channel. I know many of you are probably sick of hearing about that, but uh, it's just kind of the truth. There's a reason people go on about it. 
And it's because it does really help, you know. I don't want you to feel like you have to do anything. We need to grab this key card, by the way. But, uh... Yeah. If you want to do me a solid, you feel like supporting, you know what to do. I feel like nowadays you hear a lot of YouTubers like, Please sub! Or they're always finding inventive ways to do it. I'd just kind of rather be real with you and tell you exactly why people want you to do it, you know, and... It's up to you what you do. You don't have to do anything. Don't feel bad if you're not into it. I understand. I mean, I, I watch people's content. And I'll regularly go back to their channel. And I don't subscribe to them. But because I know their channel, I know how to get back there. Kind of thing. But nowadays, anyway, man, it seems like the YouTube feed is just pretty bad. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't accurately depict the content you watch. Like, I'll have people that I'm subscribed to and I watch their content regularly. And their videos just don't show up in my feed on YouTube. But then I've got someone I never watch and I don't even like. And they'll constantly show up in my feed. And I have to manually tell YouTube not to send me that person's content. It's stupid. Like, I think the algorithm's honestly pretty bad. And I think they do feed us quite a bit of BS. By telling us that, uh, you know, the algorithm is smart. Where it really, I think... It's almost like YouTubers looking after their best interests. You got a collectible here then? Let's go ahead and snag this. This isn't the main pathway we need to take, but uh, there's, there is a chest here actually. Let's see what's in it. Please not a slug. We'll listen to that in a minute, by the way. Not a slug. Let's go. I get out of that. Oh, two batteries, an energy converter, and Kali's dot credits. Nice. I can also enter my uh, empty my inventory out of this area. Feel luck. Yeah, I tend to have a lot of people say to me, I, I don't get, like, many views compared to the subscribers I have. But it's because I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. And I... Oh. Oh, God. I gained most of my subscribers very early on, like, back in the day. And then they changed the algorithm to make it so that... To be honest, subscribers don't really matter. It's more about how many people have got your notifications turned on. Because they're the people that will actually see when you upload new videos. So, a lot of the subscribers I have join my channel when the whole notification thing didn't even exist exist oh god hello so i'd say that a good 99% of my subscribers don't have notifications on it's a very low percentage but also i think part of that is my fault i never ask for it so Again, anything you do is totally up to you, but if you're looking to support the channel, that's what that's the way. But there are tons of ways to support people on YouTube now. You've, you know, you've got the whole memberships thing. You can even donate to people on YouTube now. There's like that whole, like if you look below the video, you'll see now, like now that the likes have turned into like thumbs up or whatever. There's a little heart icon. If you press that, you can tip people, which is crazy that YouTube's doing that. Right, you've got so many different options to help people out. I just don't like to influence people too much, and I know what it's like because people don't like to be bothered constantly by someone. Someone saying, subscribe to the channel, no, turn your notifications on, join my Discord, join, join my Twitch, become a member, donate to me, follow my Twitter. I've, I've got I've OnlyFans if you want it. You know what I mean? Like It's just a bit... It's so much, it's so much these days, like, that people are trying to push at once, so... I guess I'm the kind of person that just likes to... Lay my cards on the table and leave it up to you. I do understand why not everybody even subscribes, you know? Some people will literally just watch this video for me and they'll never come back to my channel again. Like, it happens. That's just kind of the way it goes, man. And I understand that. I do that. 
Oh, come on. Let me grab that. Come on now. Yeah, I'll do that too. Like, I'll be looking to do something on a certain game. Maybe collectibles or something like that. Or I, I want to watch someone play through a game or something. I'll watch them play through the game. And then I'll never go back to their channel. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just different viewers do different things, you know? One thing that is really difficult, though, is... I do see some people say to me in comments and whatnot occasionally, people will say like, Oh, I miss when you used to do Let's Plays. Because and... I used to do that a lot. I used to just do casual stuff a lot. Where I'd just get a game and I'd post my first time experience with the game and that's it. Um, and a lot of people will say, I miss those days, you know? When you used to post Let's Plays and... The honest answer to all of that is... Oh god, oh god, oh god. YouTube... Well, that sort of content doesn't do well. For me, at least. On my channel, that just doesn't do well anymore. So... All of the casual type playthroughs, like when a game comes out, and I just want to play it through for the first time and check it out and whatnot, I'll do that on Twitch. I just do that on Twitch. And it doesn't matter how much I say... If that's the kind of content you're looking for, come on over to my Twitch, follow me on Twitch, watch over there, because that's where I do those Let's Plays now. People still complain about it. You know, people are still saying to me, Oh God, come on, bud, come on. People are still saying the same thing to me. Oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, mate, where are you going? What is this pathing? But yeah. I kind of keep that content all over there now. And on YouTube, I just post guides. So if that's, you know, what you're looking for, guides and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll post a casual playthrough. Like here and there, I will. But not very... Oh, God, there's three of them over there. Hmm. Remember I said to you there's a lot of these guys to deal with? Yeah, I wasn't lying. All right, let's grab everyone here. Get rid of them. All right. Problem is, you know, with the whole getting people to turn notifications on, all that kind of rubbish. You kind of have to keep going on about it all the time. And people hate that. And I know that because I hate that. I hate it when someone's constantly saying, Sub, notifications, memberships, like, comment, fucking join my Discord, write to my nan for me, or, you know what I mean? It's a bit much, isn't it? Like, all the time. Did I get it? Oh, God. You missed me, dickhead. You're fucked. Whew. The strafe. Alright, we got here. Got a bunch of stuff to sell thinking. No, 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 not too much. A few things. But it is annoying, right? People are constantly just asking you to do stuff. And then you think, alright, I'm going to go and check this guy's video out. Video out. And it starts all over again. <laughs> so the next person is asking you to do it. And it's kind of dumb, really, because if you think about it, when you subscribe to someone, you're telling YouTube that you're interested in that person's content, right? Like you're saying, hey, YouTube, I like this guy's content. I want to see more of it. Right? When this guy uploads a video, I would like to know that this guy is uploading a video. But what YouTube wants you to do is subscribe and turn on notifications. In which case, what's the point of a subscription? Like, subscribing to someone is literally just to give them a number. That's it. That's all it does. It's actually stupid. Really not worth even having anymore. Like, what really matters is getting people to... Oh god, someone's coming, someone's coming. Oh god. This is bad. He's mutating. It's not even his final form. That was kind of laggy also. Is 
Surprised these guys around us didn't wake up, by the way. That's what YouTube calls all of that stuff, is... A call to action. Like, you have to... Ask people to do something, basically. And the more stuff that you have... That you're asking people to do... The less people like it. You know what I mean? You need to make it as simple as possible. So, just subscribing... That's where you should keep it. You know? That's where YouTube should have kept it. Changing it to... Subscribe and turn on notifications. Just that one extra button press annoys people that much more, you know? Uh oh, what's that? God, you scared me, bud. Undo that. He's mutating. Oh, God. Come on, then. Miss me. Come on. He's close. Let's go. Alright. But I do like to talk about these things from time to time and just bring up how I feel about it. Hello. Let's just dodge this guy. Yeah, those crawlers. Oh god, come on now. Oh, it's cr oh, what? Are you dead? Good. Those crawlers are rough to deal with, but uh, if you just sh if you hit them once with the baton, they they tend to die. Problem is, the crawlers like to grab you a lot. They will grab you more often than the enemies that are standing. I guess it's kind of because they have less they can actually do to you. You know what I mean? Let's keep moving on. Sorry about that, got interrupted for a moment. Alright, so the second secret room is coming up. And it's just ahead of us. You do have to come this way. But uh, then we need to take a little bit of a detour in order to get to the secret room. You also get a, an achievement or a trophy here. So this is where we've got to go into the power reactor, but we're going to go this way. Through here. And there's a couple of enemies along our way you need to watch out for. This is one of the harder secrets to find in the game. You can easily miss this one if you're not paying attention. Because that gap in the wall really looks like you can't squeeze through it. But you can. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about what we were just talking about. Do you turn notifications on for many people? Or is that something you reserve for, you know, people you watch really regularly and people that you really, you know, support a lot? Because I feel like subscribing is a bit different. It's kind of like a casual thing that people throw about willy-nilly, whereas the notifications thing isn't. Which kind of makes it annoying. But it's also very frustrating from a creator standpoint. Like, if you know, if you're someone like me... I spent years grinding content to gain subscribers. It took me a very long time to get my sub number up. And then YouTube comes along and essentially just wipes away the use for that. Like, all of that hard work is just gone. And then I've got to get people to turn on notifications. It's kind of like, what? Let's watch out for these guys. I don't know why they would do that. But my channel suffered big time when that happened. My channel was growing so well. And then when they made those changes, things just went down the tube a bit. Alright, we need to shoot this pod. 
don't know if that'll wake up any of the knobheads behind us. Alright. But yeah, I'm not going to feed you any more of a sob story. I'll stop going on about it. I know it's just stupid. Let's just get back to talking about the game. There's our next collectible. Uh, I think... Who's that? Yannick Sage? Uh, the secret room too? Cool. So, if you've played the Walking Dead Telltale game, that's the same voice actor that plays Lee. Kind of cool that he's in it. He's actually in a ton of games. Even, like, smaller titles. If any of you played Enderal, which is... It's kind of like a Skyrim mod campaign. He's even in that. Like, he's done, he's done a ton of voice acting work. So, I really respect it. It's nice that he's getting steady work. He's got a really great voice. Uh, but that game will forever be one of my favorites. All right, let's stay quiet here. we got to head all the way back now. I think this is the way we go back anyway. I honestly don't know. Last time I came here, uh, I got the achievement for coming here. Can we go through there? No. Last time I came here, I got the achievement for coming here. And then uh, dipped I don't know if this is the way we came. Well, I think, yeah, this is the way we came. I'm guessing this way is our way out then. Like up here, you know? Yeah, I got the achievement for finding the room, and then I just didn't come back down there. Missed out on that collectible last time, but we'll get it today. Uh, so what have we got going on here? We got some bullets. Thank you. We got... Power breaker switch, which we need to do. Need to flip those breakers to turn on the generator. All right. The UJC is here for you. So. We're we getting close to our next upgrade too. Nice. Only a few more we really need to get. Uh. All right, now that that's done, we go this way, I believe. Yep. We got another little sequence where we've got to turn on some breakers and uh, deal with the enemies in this area. All right. All right. Wait for it. I heard him. Ah, oh, I didn't get the wall. Quiet, you. Sorry, I heard someone else. Oh, it's just these guys. Cool. Let's get stomping. Nice. Down we go. A few enemies in this area. One thing about being in this area that's kind of nice is that... You've got a lot of these spiky walls around. So if you do get discovered, you can just start chucking enemies into the walls. But I do like to preserve my batteries and just... Try and stab everyone. In the speedrun, though, you know people are just going to be throwing these guys around the front and center. God, turn away. There we go. So if you're not keeping up with the story, essentially, this was like where some outbreak happened with an alien life form on this colony. And it's been down here for decades. And they built the... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. They built the prison on top of this. So uh, they could conduct research and what went on down here, basically, and this is where we are right now. Kind of awesome. Alright. Um, let's 
grab a couple of these guys. Oh, great, that's great. How many batteries do I have? Because I know we get a bunch. Of I've got two. Could use some here. Just to speed up this area. This area is a little bit, just a little bit tedious. One thing you can kind of abuse in the game is your recharge for your battery. Oops. That kind of screwed me over. Alright, here they come. I think that might be all of them. Let's not use the battery for a while and we can fully recharge the one we have at the moment. Credits, credits, credits. Alright, we need to move on this way. And I think we're going here, yep. Get this last breaker. Let's go. It's just ahead. Um, we got a box here, let's go ahead. Can I just stomp that here so I don't have to grab it? Yeah, nice. Credits. There's the breakup. Power's on. I should get back to that platform. All right. Let's go. So I think our last collectible is, uh, Towards the end of the, the area that we're doing, towards the end of the chapter, we've done a good section of this chapter right now. This is probably my least favorite chapter in the game, even though it's still good. It's just kind of a bit slow and boring. I've tried to just keep the conversation going. I can hear you. I'm heading to the colony now. I'll contact you once I'm there. Gotta stay quiet for now. Gotta stay quiet for now. Right, so we got a couple of enemies here. Um, credits. Let's not worry about them. We got a few enemies here too. We can just sort of drop down here and ignore them. Let's move on. And up here, there's an enemy that sort of moves towards you. Let's keep going. Yeah, just here, there's a guy that starts sort of shuffling towards you from up there. Let's just take it slowly. I can probably walk a little bit now. There he is. Yeah, we want to wait for him to come to us. If we try and walk up there, we'll be in his path and we'll alert him. I could shoot him, but I'll probably alert all the guys that are back there. So let's just wait. Again, trying not to use the battery, so I recharge it. It takes a while for it to recharge, but it will at over time. Come on, slowpoke. Oh, that's really close. It's like he knows where I'm going, man. <laughs> Trying to move around him. There we go. Alright, let's go. Pretty sure we have some more enemies up here to deal with as well. Just before we go onto the moving platform at the end of this area. Like just through here. So be ready. You gotta be careful, man. Yeah, I think they will come out now. Yep. Just gonna try and sneak it past them. Yeah, let's go. You get cutscene grabbed right here. Again, that's all scripted. Beautiful. 
I'm glad that section's out of the way because it's kind of just a bit slow and annoying one. Alright, how much we got? 2,900. I can buy a upgrade that I want. So, out of these two, I kind of want, I want the damage. I'm not entirely too bothered about this. This one is really good because it breaks the arms. These two, these ones really don't matter. Um... Because it's all to do with blocking, and we can't do any blocking. So let's go ahead and buy this. This just brings up the damage of the baton. The UJC appreciates your productivity. Definitely a decent upgrade. The next one we want to get and save for is... I think this one, yep. And this is just to do with getting more out of each battery, you know. And also our battery's fully recharged now. Which is decent, because we didn't use it for a while. Although we do have a ton of batteries in this area. And that's because... Uh, there's a lot of battery usage that happens in this area. One thing you might want to do here is... Grab everything you can. And sell the stuff you don't need. So let's have a little look. There's another health injector in there. What I'll do is, I'll drop... Um, a... what should we drop? I've got like one... I've got a ton of batteries. I'm just going to drop one here. Hopefully it will stay there and I can come and grab it in a minute. But I just want to grab this health injector. I don't think there's any more injectors around. Nah? Alright. So let's go this way and just sell this these injectors. And then I can just carry, carry a couple more batteries, you know? Or whatever, or some ammo or something rather than chugging around these health injectors. That we don't need. Yeah, so we have, what is that, 12 inventory slots? Not bad in total. It just kind of sucks because um, the batteries are only worth 10, 10 credits. Uh, that's sucky. I feel like, come on, at least 50 or something. Right, our battery's still there. Beautiful. I would have been annoyed if it despawned. So is there any ammo in here? I'm carrying a lot of batteries, so it's probably best to take ammo. There we go, there's a bit of extra there, what's in here? Nothing. Alright, cool. Let's go, we're probably going to use some stuff here anyway, so let's go and start this. Now to party. Great staging. Okay, here we go. Next stop. Focus. Station. This section's very loud. We just want to use the grip here and just throw our enemies away. There he is. Come me up. So these enemies just pretty much instantly mutate into the stronger fjord forms. Come on. Where are you? Oops. I guess it's because of the... I don't know, the forces ripping... Doing damage to him or something? I don't know. But it, the fact that we've got so many batteries just makes this section really easy. Come on, then. Probably went through a battery there. Let's see if I can grab it. Oh. Oops. They just keep coming. I think that's it. Nothing left in any of the cases, I don't think. 
cool. So we got a little boss fight coming up. Pretty sure we have to approach this area for it to spawn. <laughs> Alright, mate. You just kind of want to run around until he spawns in. I just sort of run back and forward between these two points. I think it's probably on a timer anyway. There we go. Alright. So shoot this guy in the head and dodge his attacks. That's pretty much what you gotta do. Just kind of got to make sure you don't get caught with your pants down, shooting or anything. When he goes down here, just keep shooting him in the head. Bit dodged, really, don't you, bud? All right, it's me. Pretty sure he's nearly dead now. All right. You want to make sure you loot this guy? Gives you a CPU printer, which is worth a thousand. Very nice, very nice. Alright. So, um... Our last collectible that's in this area should be here. Here we go. So that's the last collectible of this chapter. Arden Jeddo. Let's have a look at that. Jerica, are you there? Uh, here we go. The UJC response team, for the love of the gods, run the other way. I'm on the platform. Headed back to Arden. All right. So, uh, I think we got three off this guy, one off this guy, and one off that guy. That makes five, which is all of them. Nice, nice, nice. Danny, I made it. Great. Where are you? Some kind of service tunnel. I'm on the other side. Just keep going. You're almost to the colony. All right. So our first collectible is right here. Nice. Let's have a little listen to that. Was it Alex Wang? <laughs> Wang. Alright, so our second collectible is not too far from here. Uh, let's have a little look around first, though, see what we can find. We need to go that way to continue. Uh, but let's head up here. And have we got any pickups? Here we got a little chest. Let's go. Very nice. Not a huge nice. amount of the game left now. A few more chapters. We've done the majority. We're doing well, man. We're doing well. Thoroughly enjoyed my time with this game. I can't wait for some DLC. That'll be fun to do. Maybe we'll get to squeeze out another playthrough. I'd really like to see a mode where there's some sort of Palmer death or you know, you've only got three lives or something like that. I think that could be really interesting. Definitely be fun. Alright, so we'll have a little bit of dialogue from Danny now. I'm at the colony. Where are you? See that light tower? Meet me there. 
Light tower, got it. I see it. And our next collectible is right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. We got another log. Darren Bar or Darren Bar. Um here we go. I told them it was a complete waste of time, but UJC wasn't having it. <sighs> now they got my whole crew working OT. I just hope they find whatever it is they're looking for. Uh, I'm sure they do, I'm sure they do. Alright. So, another collectible is uh, up the ways so a little. We'll get to it in a minute. Let's go. This area has a mixed bag of enemies. You've got some of the enemies that are sensitive to sound. You've got the other enemies that we've experienced, like the normal melee type enemies. Spitters. Loud noises. Yeah, we got spitters. All right, let's get to sneaking. Get behind this dude. Take him out quickly if we can. I think he turns around here. Yeah. All right. Give me your loot. This guy. Let's get rid of him. So, there's another enemy that pops out of the floor here. Right here. No, he's not doing it. Alright. That's weird. Oh. Was that him? Yep. Be careful of that dude. He pops out of that vent and jump scares you if you're not careful. And he's done for. Very nice couple more enemies around here. There's one through here, I think. I think I'm pretty sure there's a couple in these buildings, actually. Just be careful. No one in there. Slow and steady wins the race in these areas. If you stand up and start running around, the other enemies just all get alerted. It can be kind of rough fighting these guys two or three at a time. Alright, no enemy here. About if I start running around. See if anyone hears me. Hello. Oh, hello. He didn't hear me. That's what I'm talking about. Making it nice and easy for me, are you, bruv? Shank and spank. Oh, what else we got? Are there any, any actual pickups in here? I don't I feel like there's literally none. Alright. Alright. So our next collectible. See what's down there. I think we have to go down there in a little bit, but we can have a look. No, oh, literally nothing to pick up in this area, man. Alright, so our next collectible is above us. We need to take the ladder that's over here. This ladder. Let's go. I think there's an enemy up here just standing at the top of the ladder as well. Yeah, watch out for him. Stab him up. Another one over there. Let's get our collectible first, which I think is in this room. In we go. I think there's an enemy in here as well. Yeah, there he is. There's our collectible. Mate, you're standing on top of my collectible, son. Stab. Alright, we got a prestige energy converter and a collectible. Let's go ahead, grab that. Have a little listen. Minor log three, Darren Bar. Okay, 
so our next collectible is when we go up an elevator in a little bit. We ain't got to worry about that too much right away, but it's coming soon. So this area can be a little bit tricky because there's a ton of enemies that attack you here. And some of the spitting enemies start getting involved soon. Let's get rid of this guy. Save as much resources as we can. It wouldn't matter on an easier difficulty, but on, on this difficulty, I just feel like it pays to be, be a bit stingier. And just save everything you can get your grubby little mitts on, man. If I can kill enemies without wasting them resources, I definitely will. Alright. Lovely. So, in here... Sit down. When you come in here and grab either one of these, there's a schematic there for another gun. When you grab either of these, an enemy comes out of these lockers, so I'll be ready. I can't take it. I guess it's not going to happen then. What else have I got? Have I got anything I want to drop? Not really. Actually got some pretty decent loot there. Need to hover over these so the uh, inventory doesn't say they're new. There we go. Alright, let's keep sneaking along. That guy might come out in a little bit, I don't know. Again though, I'll show you where the schematics are. I think we've found all of the schematics now. I'm pretty sure this is a slug in that locker, so I'm not going to open it. Just going to keep going. We got something here though, some credits maybe. What's here? More credits, beautiful. Let's go, man. I'm gonna. Oh, let's, I think we're good enemy-wise in this area. Let's open up this locker. Kalisto credits. All right, we need to grab this right here. Got it. I should head back to the elevator. Let's get rid of this guy. Yep. Thank you for the loot. We got another enemy coming ahead of us right here. So, this guy will come to about here or so and then back off. We just want to chill like here and wait. Come on, mate. Let's get him. So there's two enemies that spawn up ahead of us. Before we go up there, though, let's grab... Uh, where is it? Around here somewhere is a explosive canister. Yeah, right here. Let's go ahead and bring this out here. They're using our battery. I think just carrying stuff doesn't actually use your battery. So you can, like, bring this with you if you want. Yeah, it's not using my battery, just holding it. It might use it when we throw it. Um, let's just piggyback this along to, like, here. So, there's one of the enemies. When you walk here, this sort of banister falls off, and these two guys become alert to you. So let's just do that. Didn't deal with the other one. Just grab him, throw him up against this wall. For some reason, when you use, at least with the upgraded grip, when you throw enemies into thin walls like this, it just demolishes them. A lot of the time. If the wall is, like, thicker, it doesn't seem to do it. I guess maybe because their body glitches through it a little bit or something, and it just, like, breaks them into pieces. Yeah, it works for me a lot. Alright, moving on then. Not sure if we get attacked by enemies here or not. I think there is an enemy in here now. And if you open this earlier, sometimes this enemy is here. And if you shoot him on the floor, he uh, doesn't come to life. But then you'll come back and he kind of tricks you because then he comes to life. It's weird. Come here. Don't want to shoot him. Just in case there's any enemies around. 
Alright, that'll do. It's always a pot luck on when they're on the floor, man. You don't know if they're gonna grab you or not. Right, up we go then. Oh wait, what? I thought we were going up. No, nope, all right. Do we have to find the elevator now? I think that oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, yeah. I know our next collectible is just up here as well. So, here is our fourth collectible. Alright, Yannick Sage the Mole. Oh, wrong button. Let's have a listen. And then we go. Oh, jump scares. We got this guy. So he's mutating there, and if you're quick about it, you can shoot him in the chest. Stop the mutation. Stops you from having to fight a tougher enemy. I mean, it's up to you. There's one uh, achievement I haven't really talked about yet, and that is for throwing enemies and then running up and smacking them with the baton. So you have to use the grip and throw them and then run up and um, smack them up. So we got this guy, do something like this. Throw. Smack. Throw. Smack. It's a really powerful combo. But uh, it uses a lot of batteries to do that. But I think you have to do it a few times. Oh, is this guy not facing me? I might be able to sneak up on him. Might be worth. Let's see what happens. See if we're quick enough. Oh, his shadow just sort of like popped in there. Maybe the shadow quality on this game. I think I've got shadows on... It's either high or medium. I'm not sure. But maybe this way the shadows work in this game is like when you're closer... The shadows load, and the higher you have the setting, the further you are away, or something. I don't know, something like that. Daddy, there. Collectible. Damn. All right, we need to go in here for this collectible. Let's just watch out for enemies. It's right here. Did I get his tentacles? Nope. Come on, then. It's hard to tell sometimes if you do hit him in the tentacles. Come on. He's got to be close. There we go. Alright, let's get this collectible. Go so booed red work, high town. Let's have a listen. UKC's gathering everybody up in the high town square for vaccination. We're finally getting out of here. Okay, that was a short one. So our next collectible is where we use the fuse in a moment. We've got some enemies around here as well, so we just want to be careful. Not get jumped. The fuse we need is over there. There's a locker back there, but it has a worm in it, so be careful. Going for that. Is there an enemy back here? I feel like there might be. No, we got a chest though. Let's have a look. Please don't be a worm. Nice. What did we get? Decoder. Some Kalisto credits. Let me check my inventory and see if I'm low on batteries. I actually am. I don't have any, I don't think. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, sorry. That's my bad. We have two. Ignore me. Let's go. All right. This music doesn't exist. Copyright, copyright, copyright. There's no such thing as this music. All right. 
You know how copyright is these days, you gotta be careful about it. What happened there? I feel like I didn't even hit him. And he just spouted the tentacles, right? So we got a guy dropping in, grab this tank, chuck it at him, we're gonna come back this way. Look out for an enemy running from this direction. Sometimes he comes from here, sometimes he comes from here, there he is. Grab him, chuck him over there. Shoot this, explode an enemy. That little fight's done. I'm gonna head up here. Watch out for this locker, it's got a worm in it. Uh, I'm gonna come this way, turn around. Grab this guy, throw him. Throw this guy. Come down here, just wait for a second. Keep yourself away from those spits. Grab this enemy, throw it back over there. You can shoot this guy if you want to, but I'm gonna... <laughs> grab that guy, throw him, or watch out for spit. Excuse me, sir. You stop that. It's very rude. I think we might be good. I hear other enemies, but I think they're below us. I think it might be one that we've just thrown. So we put the fuse in here now. And we've got a shop. I'm going to just quickly go to the shop. Oh, our next collectible's here. Let's grab that first. Very nice. We can have a little uh, listen to that. What is that? Jake One Park. Minor Log 4. Um, there he is. Oh dear. Alright, uh, we've got a med- oh no, I don't want to go there. He did. Open the thing. Well, well, let me grab the stuff that's on here first. Alright, and then we'll get this med injector if it'll let me. Oh, I gotta look at this at the right angle or something. Thank you. And let's go over here. The UJC is here for you. Sell everything we don't need. We don't need this. We don't need this. Well, this is just for selling anyway. So this. Sell this, sell this, sell this. We have a ton of cr uh, credits right now. So this one, not really important. Um, this one is very important, so let's get that. The UJC appreciates your productivity. Beautiful. All right, uh... I don't really think I have anything I'm too bothered about. We could get the ammo capacity for this. It's like 900. Maybe I should save my credits for now. This one is all right, but it's not. It's to do with when you uh, get the blue reticule, it snaps onto the center of the enemy. So if they're doing the whole, you know, mutating thing, you can snap straight to it. But it's not really worth 2,700 credits. I'll happily just take the extra second to aim. Uh. Yeah, again, these. I might buy the first one of this, just to... Ah, again, I don't really think I need it, to be honest. Like, I don't really think I need... I might, I might just keep the rest. I, there's, there's no real upgrades that I actually need. Maybe I should just start saving to put my upgrades into the... Right, get the we'll get this on the riot gun, I guess. There's nothing else I really need, to be honest. Printing. Quality check. Verified. The only other thing we need to worry about is ammo. Um, and that only really becomes too much of a problem at the end of the game. So I'll just save my credits from this point out and then I'll buy as much ammo as I need. Moving forward. Oh dear, explodey guys. Getting closer. We're getting closer apparently. We do have one of those fights coming up with actually brr, maybe i should have thought about getting ammo let me check my ammo situation i didn't really take a look at ammo there i wonder if i can go back to that shop can i look at my ammo here no yeah, i don't know if i can go back here but let me see what my ammo is like yeah i'm all right i got like 24 pistol bullets i got some riot ammo i've got like 20 oh, i've got more than that yeah yeah oh no I'm, I'm pretty low on can i go back let me see if i can go back I can. It's kind of long. Ugh. God. I should have thought of this. That's my bad. Where's the camera angle gone weird like this? 
can I not move any further? Oh, there we go. Alright, that was weird. Alright, let me go back. Yeah, because we've got a boss fight coming up, and I uh, want to make sure I've got enough ammo for it. Okay. Choose an item. Dum -dum -dum. I just want a few sets of this. Before you. Remove item from print assembly. Activating print assembly. Complete. Complete. Is not responsible for any defects. So if we get one more here, we've uh, appreciate your productivity. pretty much just bought an extra full stack. I think an extra 24 bullets. That should be... No, I think it's two stacks we bought. Two stacks. Decent. Alright, cool. Let's go. I've probably got enough ammo to take on the boss, but I kind of like to use the pistol. What have I got out? The riot gun? Let's get the pistol out. Yeah, cool. Let's go. I got one more collectible to get in this chapter. Kind of an awkward place to have a shop, but whatever. But yeah, not too much left of the game now. Mr. Dead Man. I'm sorry. I tried to protect you. Danny. You didn't deserve this. Danny. Danny. Hey, Danny. It's a dead Get dude. Away from me! Calm down, bruh. Okay. Okay. Hey. You don't seem okay. I was in their mind. Reliving their memories. There was an outbreak. 75 years ago. Just like what's happening in the prison. They killed everyone. Trying to contain it. These aren't accidents. There's a pattern. Arcus, Black Iron, Europa. They're all connected. Did the accidents make you deaf? Because that was something a deaf person would do. Hello. Oh. Okay. Yeah, with these fights, man, you just want to make sure you're running sideways a lot. And shooting quickly. You will have random enemies that show up here, too. Kind of just taking pop shots at this guy. This is where playing Years of Gears pays off. That missed. Professional gamer. Let's throw him into the other guy. Miss me again. I keep missing. I think that guy's dead. Alright, let's go. Miss me again. Just kind of playing around this box. Loads. Another enemy's coming. Can 
hear this other enemy somewhere, but I don't see him. Right, moving on. Reload. Okay. There we go. Little bit of a start there, but that's fine. Yeah, you okay? Got the drop on me, but yeah. This is it. I know. They knew a way to reach the city. Didn't know you can transfer memories like that. These implants are wired into the group. Shut up, Danny. We're looting, right? No one cares about your character arc. Alright, uh, I don't think we've got anything to pick up here. Um, our last collectible is pretty much just ahead of us. Let's just move on. I could probably go and scavenge around those areas, but that's fine. We're going this way, I guess. through there. I think this is where we've already been, isn't it? We're forced to walk here, by the way. We can't run. Ugh, and I guess that's why. Big oof. Walkway collapsed. The way to the surface is on the other side of the colony. Just keep moving and I'll meet you there. I guess so. God. Alright, let's go. Heading along this way. Uh I guess we'll go to the shop, why not? All systems operate within normal parameters. Just sell that, move on. And lots of enemies in this area. Let's go. This guy. This guy. A couple of explodey guys. And then we got a couple of mutators that come in as well. Let's come around here and just be ready. Saying the upper levels like I'm spending loads of time on the bottom levels where you know I am fighting enemies. This ain't some sort of joke. I'm not on frickin' holiday over here. Alright, an enemy should drop in right here if yeah. Made me reload, but I was still mutating. That's cool. Oh, I didn't get any pickups off that guy. So up here, there's two enemies. One of them is mutating as he climbs over the railing, and you can kill him quickly by shooting him in the tentacles. Like so. And we got this guy. The big boy. Alright, I'm getting closer, boys. Give me that. Give me that. Got a tank there if we should need it. And if into Oh man, I'm getting some lag here. Tactical pistol. Alright, let's go. Another shop, really? That was close. That was close, apparently. It's freezing. Nah, it's good. I can't believe people live down here. Yeah, well, didn't have much of a choice. Yeah, definitely getting a few skips here. It wasn't there before. No, not back then. It used to be the mine shaft, up to the surface. Why would they cover it? Don't know, but we have to cut through there to get back. All right. 
Let's just keep moving, Danny. Uh, nothing to grab here. Beep, boop, beep. On. One more collectible in this chapter. Oh my God. What is that? It's my penis. Released by the miners when they broke through to Callisto's subsurface ocean. It was dead by the time we arrived, killed by security forces. But inside the carcass, we found thousands. Primary disease vectors with biophage pathogen. We collected specimens and transported them to our central lab in Europe. The pathogen acted as an evolutionary accelerant, mutating the colonists into little more than mindless brutes. Save for one, the so-called Subject Zero. Somehow able to reap the benefits of the contagion, greater strength, endurance, and longevity, while preserving their intellect and humanity. Though killed by security forces during the outbreak, the body was transported to the Black Eye Lab, forming the basis of the original research program. Oh, God. Five, two, one. You may be just nonsense business. Hurry up. I got this. Roid junkie. Jesus. This guy chews cinder blocks for breakfast. He's got terrible accuracy though. You miss. And again. And again. And again. Oof. I think that one might have laid babies in your throat. Take us up to the surface. Just saying. 
Alright. Press the button. Oh, we made it. Beep beep. She ain't looking too good. You're gonna need this. Okay. Yeah, we're almost there. All right. So uh, here is our last collectible. Let's find out. In this chapter, at least. All right. Wasn't that, was it say Dunk? Was that Duncan? Yep. Was it dis a disagreement? I think it was. Yeah. My patience is at an end, Muller. It's been close to six months. But we're close to understanding the biophage, to harnessing it. I just need more time. No. What happened on Europa was a tragedy. Was a revelation. What a dick. All right. Okay, let's grab whatever we can. Some of that. Anything else here we want to get? Don't think so. UJC printing for all your needs. So, um, again, I don't think we need upgrades. How am I doing for ammo? I haven't got a lot of pistol ammo. Let's just buy some pistol ammo. Not really fussed about upgrades anymore. Just need ammo for stuff. That's literally it. One more. You see what I mean? Remember I was talking about this earlier on in the game? Like I want four stacks and I'm just stood here printing out stacks where I should just be able to say I want 24 bullets and it gives me that many. Or you can say instead of printing it four times it prints it once and you just say you want times four. It'd be much easier, right? Mm. You have to buy in increments of six but you can say you want more than one stack. Only because of sections where you're stood there. Oh no, I don't want that. Drop that. You're stood there crafting a bunch of the stuff. Systems are all shot to hell. Almost got it. It's the show. The whole prison is infected. We should get the hell out of here. Good idea. Warden signal is still active in the command tower. Can we make it to him? Looks like it. I'm getting the door now. That happened pretty quick, didn't it? All right, let's go. What we got here? Ah, nothing. Inmates, return to your cells. No. Oh, knockout. All right, and that's the end of that chapter. We're on to the tower now. Wait, wait, 
Final chapter then. Let's get going. Gotta head this way. I'm opening the way ahead. And got the schematic there for the tactical pistol if you want it. We don't want those though. We're done getting upgrades. We just really want to save our credits for I think this has a worm in it. Don't open that. Not a good idea. Alright, so when you come through here, we got another shop, man. I'm finding a lot of shops. Uh, we need a fuse for that over there. You come in here. And we need to get into this next room. Got a boss fight in here. It's another one of these two headed guys. Hello. In my opinion, this is the easiest one of these fights, just because you can keep running around this central area. Shooting him in the face. Running away. Shoot him in the face. Run away. And so on. He backing up on himself? I think he is. It's alright. No bother. Kind of like to run in a clockwise motion. This area is just a little bit longer. Oh, close one. Close one. Haven't got a lot of ammo left for the pistol. I got the riot gun though. Oh, we managed to kill him. Nice. I'll buy some more ammo in a minute. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and grab the fuse. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. So... What else we got around here? Anything to grab? I don't think so. But, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and buy ourselves some ammo. Unit online. We'll sell the CPU printer. Pretty much all I want to do here is uh, buy pistol ammo. User assumes all liability for use of this print. Cycle complete. Buy a couple of stacks. UJC printing, the highest quality. Have a united day. Let's do one more. So that'll give us like 24, I think. Some of that. Cool. Slap the fuse in. Our first collectible in this chapter is coming up. There's only four to get in this chapter, so we're close to being done. Let's go... Oh. Take me one of those. 
Cheers, mate. So we want to go up here. Let's go in here. Got an enemy here. I like. Every choice in your life has led you here. To this place. This moment. But what choice will you make, Jacob? Will you remain as you are? Or will you choose to become something greater? I'm pretty great already, mate. So this enemy here is gonna jump into this vent and then come out of this one. Be ready for that. Here he comes. No. Oh, he's mutating. Not for long. Thank you. And our collectible is right here. Observation by Tala is main, I think. Observation log. Subject 324-980 exhibits an intriguing mix of characteristics, most notably an enhanced will to survive. Recommend extraction and induction into the program. If he doesn't want to go into the program. Alright. So, moving on then. Uh, hello, bud. Come on then. Nah. Beautiful. And he gave me a couple of bullets too, I'll take that. Alright, we got bullets. Oh no, it's a CPU printer. Cool, that's like another thousand credits for us right there. I think we actually need to go this way. Which way is it though? Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, here's the door. Cut this open. Alright, so don't open the middle locker. There's a worm in there. Uh, anything else here we want? Don't think so. Don't trust this guy. For some reason, throwing these enemies into these beds kills them instantly. I don't know why. But watch. <laughs> Just fancies a nap, that's all it is. I can relate, mate. Just, you know. Bed is pretty great. Alright, jump scare enemies. Have some of that. Is he dead? Nope. How are you still alive? He's gonna mutate as well, I can just tell. Yeah. Just to stay alive extra long, this guy's gonna be a dick. Okay. Injector. More jump scare enemies coming on. I think there's another enemy here as well. I'm gonna back up. Someone else that comes in as well to this area. And there he is. Get out. Give me that. Lovely. He's gonna grab me. When they move slow like that, they're, they're trying to grab you. Just shoot them once. Yeah, if they're not running at you, man. If you try and wait for them to get close, they're gonna grab you. Cheeky buggers. Cheeky cheeky. Oh, we don't need that health. Credits. I'm going down the stairs. Alright. Hmm, I don't trust that guy. He's alright, yeah, he's cool. He's cool. Some bad stuff happened to you. Go. Oh, hello. Got a bed. Got to sleep. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the bed's the most powerful weapon in the game. I'll have some of this. Thank you. How many batteries have I got right now? I got an extra one. Okay. We've got a pristine energy converter there. Nice. Take some of that. 
Uh, we got a couple of enemies that jump us in here. Are you one? No. All right. No. Oh my god. We're so lucky to get away with that. Bedtime. I was so lucky there. The guy was in my face. Ah, can I not hit this guy? But I want his loo. There we go. Oh, hello there. No, you don't. I have a feeling there's more. Let's just be careful. Stomp this. Some more ammo, very nice. I could do with some extra batteries, to be honest. Finding some of those would be great. Alright, we gotta go this way, but there's a guy here on the stairs. Mutate. How dare you. No, oh, no mutations, okay. Alright, more bullets. Let's go. Yeah, I'm using my grip quite a lot here. Oh, a little bit of lag. Alright, we gotta watch out for this worm. He's kind of annoying. Sit back. Eventually, he'll come in the room or wiggle in front of us and we'll be able to get him. He's a cheeky one. Come on. I know you're there. Ain't got time for this. Got a game to finish. Come on. Mate. Where are you? I guess he was stuck on something or something like that. He's dead now. Right, we got an enemy that comes from here. This guy is lying to you. Let's wake him up. Nice. Give me the ammo. Thank you. Uh, so we need to go that way, but we need to get the fuse first. A couple of enemies in this area. One of them is going to jump through one of these, I think. Wait for it. There we go. Let's use the riot gun for a minute. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Arm break up. Nice. Couple of credits. Cool. Ah, battery. Just what we needed. Very nice. Alright. To rip this down. And our next collectible is just ahead. Literally in a vent. I can't go any faster in the vent. If I could, I would. Alright, so that guy is going to be on our left and invisible, so we need to deal with him. No. It'd be really cool if these guys had a mutation. Like, the other... The only people that really have... The mutations are the normal enemies. If those crawly ones had a mutation, it would be cool. And is that a, that's a fuse? That's the fuse. Anyone else? I think we're good. All right. So our next collectible is just up these stairs. Quiet. I've got to learn about your BS. Uh, which one did we just get? Was it Taken or Observation? I think it might have been Taken. After two weeks in the program, Subject 
1-980 exhibits remarkable physical enhancements, though his mental state is deteriorating rapidly. <laughs> Flag the subject for Mahler. Maybe this will help get Cole off our backs. <laughs> his mental rate is deteriorating rapidly. <laughs> I could have just said it, but I appreciate the thought that went into making that audio diary. Alright, so we need to open this now. <laughs> that was great. Only two more collectibles to get. And then we'll get our achievement. I'm pretty sure this is the last achievement I need. Yeah, I don't trust those at the moment. Hell no. I feel like I'm going to get jumped, by the way. Slap the fuse in. In we go. Alright, this looks sus. Hmm, there's a shop though. I think we'll be good because there's a shop. Smash them, maybe. Let's search these containers. We've got a med injector. A couple of lockers, nothing in them. Let's just the sell. Yours. Whatever we don't need. I need to buy some ammo. I've got a ton of money. Um, again, this, that's what I was talking to you guys about earlier. I, I'm only using these two weapons, so the most tedious thing for us is buying ammo. So we're just sort of stuck here at the moment. <laughs> Printing up some ammo. Let's do a couple more. Let me check. Let me make sure see if we've got a full couple of full stacks. Um, yeah, I could make if I make one more. It's not a full stack, but it's like five off. If I do two more, I'll end up with one extra bullet, just like I had before. So I uh, might as well do that. Top up that stack, and we got plenty of ammo now. Uh, what schematic is that? The assault rifle. Cool. We don't want it though. We don't want it. All right. If you don't open that, there's a worm in it. If you, uh... Uh, where are the spikes? Very nice. Med injector, cool. So we got one of those bosses coming up. The one we've already fought a few times. I feel like they could have had... Oh, what the hell? Come here. I want to grab that. I want to let me grab it. Whatever. Oh, God. Where did you come from? Did he injure that guy? I feel like he might have. All right. Run! Keep going, keep going. I wonder if you can use the baton when they go down to their knees there and do a bunch of damage. Not too much of a tough fight. Again, just keep running around in circles. Oh, he did. Alright, cool. Let's get the stuff off this guy. Some ammo, beautiful. It's a good job I crafted all that ammo, man. Might have been a tad screwed if we didn't. I wanted to grab, grab that. Give me those credits. Please. Thank you. There we go. Alright, anything for us to grab here? No, no. Nothing in there. No. Nothing in there. Let's go. Let's not open that. 
More worms. Not worth your time. Down. Yeah, that's right. Put them away. Get now. I'm getting inside. Yeah, so our next collectible is right here. We've got one more to get. I just got the achievement right there, so I guess I'd already picked up the last one. Maybe you just get it at this point. Um, I think this is the one we just got. Subject 324-980. Can you hear me? Oh dear. Definitely having a bad day. Alright, um... So, continuing on this way. Our last collectible isn't too far away. What's that? Oh god, I don't want it. Get it out of my inventory. Now. There we go. Just don't want it. Plain don't want it. It's nice that they've put extra spawns in for those, though, if you missed the original ones. Experimenting on the prisoners. Figures. Holy yes. Goodness. It's kind of where you see. Looks like they were trying to see UJC behind this too. The experiments they were doing on people. There's one of the exploders. Kind of interesting to see. Move it on then. What are you doing? I said, what are you doing? It's only an inhibitor to slow the rate of infection. You said you could cure her. I can, with your help. You have to trust me. <laughs> You're wasting time, and she doesn't have much. All right, fine. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> Soon everything will become clear. Why don't you start by telling me about this? You saw the recordings, you know what happened on Europa? I have no idea what happened on Europa. I wasn't there when the attack happened. No, but she was. Are you sure you really want to? Yes! Do you wish? <sighs> what did you do to me? Give you what you wanted. <sighs> the curse of knowledge. <sighs> Your core is linked with hers now. Or at least it will be once the sink is complete. The data won't transfer immediately, but her memories will fill in the gaps, give you the answers you seek. Okay. Just tell me how we can cure her. You can use this to synthesize an antidote, but you'll need to extract a sample from the warden's elf. Is, is what? The goal of this madness. His ridiculous protocol. During the original outbreak, a colonist known as Subject Zero demonstrated a unique ability to synthesize the biofish, to control it. Yeah, I heard in the recording something about bigger, stronger. The next phase of human evolution. Unfortunately, he was killed during the Arca sterilization. And now, the Warden seeks to replicate the conditions of the original outbreak, hoping to recreate Subject Zero as Subject Alpha. Well, releasing the virus in the prison? As he would say, evolution doesn't happen in a lab. It happens in the wild. But how can he do this? There's no way he can cover this up. He's not acting alone. He's part of a group. Dating back centuries, they seek to control the progress of human... She's... she's waking. Be careful, Jacob. Once synthesized, the antidote will contain the only pure essence from his Alpha. He'll want it more than anything. It's the key to all he seeks. What about you? I played my part in all of this as well. There's no escape for me. Black Iron is where I belong. It's you. Yeah. What happened? Where am I? It doesn't matter. We got what we need. Now let's go finish this. All right. How are you feeling? Like something inside my head, trying to take over. Hey, just 
Hold on, we'll be there soon. Did you see that? See what? Eh, nothing. Creepy. And he's gone. Elevators ahead. Should get us up to the tower. All right. Let's keep moving. Get over here. Okay. It's very dark. So, All right. What happened back there? Last thing I remember is those robots jumping us. Mahler's helping us get the cure. And you trust her? Don't got a choice. Yeah. Don't have a choice. Same what here. is all this? This is definitely not the UJC. All right, our. Uh, Last collectible, Cole's Triumph. Triumph. Let's have a listen. Where is it? There it is. Tonight, while the prison sleeps, I will take matters into my own hands. I will release Mahler's experiments into the wild. No more talk. The time has come for action. And I know that I am right. Computer, initiate the Callisto Protocol. He said it, roll credits. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Data transfer complete. What the hell? A little bit of lag there. Danny? All the textures are loading in. <laughs> now, Danny, where are you? One hour implants. That's a fast boob job. Yes, you can. We're almost there. No. I can feel it. Uh, hear it. <laughs> In my head. Okay. You stay here. 
I'm gonna come back when I get the cure. Uh, I can take care of myself. Okay. Make him pay for what he's done. All right. Make him pay. Okay, so that's all of our collectibles. Good times. I'm guessing anyone who was here for just collectibles has already left us. If you're not, appreciate you staying. Much love. We gotta do the final boss. But uh, before we do that, we pretty much just want to fill up our inventory with bullets. It's all that matters at this point. Uh, we've only got one. Oh, we've only got one of these left. That's crazy. Uh, so basically, I just want to buy a bunch of these. I think you get six in a stack, right? Yeah, so four is going to fill up one inventory slot. No, two. Two of these will fill up an inventory slot. And how many riot bullets do I have? I've got plenty of riot bullets. I've got like 26 or something like that. Um, let's keep making these. The highest quality. You have a united day. <laughs> we'll be here for a minute, guys. Uh... Again, this is... I know I keep repeating myself. But, uh... I'm sure you can see what I was talking about now. It'd be much easier if I could be like, Right, I want 50 bullets and just... Print them all, rather than doing this ten times. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Um, okay, more. We've got like three, four more inventory slots. We want lots of bullets for this next fight. More than we actually need, but uh, just want to make sure we don't run out. The highest quality. This first part of the fight is kind of BS as well because even if you dodge his punches perfectly, he can still hit you. So you've kind of just got to get lucky in order to do the first part. part of the, I said, Nelly said, first fart of the fight. The first part of the fight. Um, how are we doing? All right, I can get one more. I'll get one more of these. And uh, I'm pretty sure riot gun wise, it costs more and you get less because they're more powerful bullets. Um, well, only a little bit more. So we had a stack of these with, I think, two in them. Let's have a look real quick. Yeah, so we get four, so we can take... We'll take one more of those. And I might as well fill up by getting another... One or two of these. I think I only, might only be able to get one more. Yeah, there we go. Whatever. And... I guess just because I can, and... I've got the... Oh no, I'm actually just under the credits for it. That's funny. I was going to say I would get one of the more expensive upgrades, but I haven't... Just... I'm quite... Literally, at the tiniest amount under that. I've, I haven't got a lot of battery-wise. I've only got one battery. Um, but that should be enough for what we need, to be honest. All right, then. So, moving on. Last boss fight. What we can do here is break these as well, but I'm not going to bother. We shouldn't really need to, to be honest. Your methods are rash. You risk too much. The greater risk is in failing to act. Especially when the commonality is finally within our grasp. And... Right on time. He approaches... The Survivor. The Survivor. The Solitarius. Where's the Alpha? Just give me the goddamn antidote! I'm not gonna let her die. <laughs> Your friend... <laughs> I've been watching you. You and your so-called friend. You're not the innocent you claim to be. 
You've proven that you'll do just about anything to ensure your own survival. And what about you, huh? Watching people die for fun, is that your protocol? No. You are mistaken, Mr. B. The protocol isn't about death. It's about life. Our future lies out there. Our destiny. But we were not built for life in space. This fragile shell holds us back. We have to evolve. We are to survive. Now, you'll all see why. Proof that my methods are worth the risk. A final contest to determine the true survival. Humanity, or my out. Well, 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 five, two, one. You're really a thank you. At first I thought this was a curse, but then I realized <laughs> it is a gift. This one has opened my eyes, showed me my purpose. Now I'm gonna show you. Let's go. So, we need to hope we get lucky here, because even if you're doing your dodge as well, he can just randomly hit you. You want to make sure that when you get the opportunity, you only take one shot at him. If you get greedy and try and take two, he can end up just hitting you quickly. So just take one and then back off a little bit. When he grabs you like that, you take a kick, but you don't take damage, so... It's kind of something you can't avoid. Why not squeeze in an extra hit there? I had the distance. Do not have the distance right here. That's stage one of the fight. to shoot the shield he's got on his face. Avoid these projectiles by using these pillars. He only really has two attacks that he uses, and that's that charge you just saw, and that projectile attack. When he roars like this, he summons in exploded enemies. We want to shoot them If they get too close, you can just throw them away with your grip. Again, just sticking around these pillars is basically where we want to live. Avoid his melee attacks and just pick shots. Yeah, when he when he roars like that is when he summons in the exploding enemies. Just be ready to deal with them. 
That's two of them. There's one more, so that should be all four. Let's get ready to dodge here. All right, we got one. Oh, he's doing it again. That's fine. Let's get behind the pillar. He's probably going to do the projectile now. Dodge again. Come on, let's go. I missed. Lovely. That's what we want. And again, let's reload here. Keep running. And look out for these exploders. Dodge that. Let's go. Luckily, the exploders scream when they get close, so you know. And that's it. We got him. Stomping for loot. Do it. You've beaten us. Ferris was weak, an imperfect vessel. But in that sample is the key to unlocking a centuries old dream. That's not failure, Mr. Lee. That's progress. And it belongs to me. No. No, no, no. I don't think so. Oh, please. This is no time for false heroics. Leave the sample and walk away. There's an escape pod up there to take you back to the life you once had. We can both have everything we want. So tell me, Mr. Lee, what do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want my sister back, fucker! A valiant effort. But surely you know by now, I never lose. No. This time you do. to save one life. Don't think you've stopped us. The data gathered here will carry the protocol to the next phase. As for you... Self-destruct sequence initiating. Goodbye, Miss Nakamura. And Mr. Lee. I do hope you've enjoyed your stay at Black Iron. Yanko Core, approaching critical of this way. Let's go. Run! Move. Run away! Alright. So, pretty much just have to run down one more corridor. And it's a GG. Just keep going! Just keep going. We gotta get to the escape pods. Nearly there. I see the pods!
transfer worked both ways. He learned more about me, and I learned more about him. In the chaos of the moment, I didn't realize he had also given me the evidence I was looking for all along. And sacrificed his life so that I could expose the truth. Was he trying to make up for the pain he caused? Or just chasing some kind of redemption? Either way, I hope he found some peace. So that's it. We nailed it. So, um, yeah. Just the credits left now. And what that shows there, it's kind of like Jacob just standing there for a split second. It's a bit weird. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough. It's been a lot of fun to make. I've actually had to do this twice. I'm going to mute this song during the credits so we don't have to hear it. But yeah, I actually had to play through this twice. I did it on stream. And all of the recordings didn't have audio. So I had to go back and do it again, man. But either way, hopefully this video came out a little bit better because I was more experienced with the no damage run. But yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to show some support to me, just drop a like and a comment. Uh, if you want to see more from me, subscribe, turn those notifications on, all that good stuff. Uh, I've got a Discord, if you can find the link to that. Uh, also, I stream on Twitch, at twitch.tv slash iframes. If you want to come and follow me over there, I do my casual playthroughs, and I try to work out runs like this over there and all that good stuff. I should be working out something soon uh, where you can do memberships if you want to become a member of the channel. And there's also the tip function, which YouTube has now. There's so much stuff, man. There's so many ways to support. But... Uh, yeah, if, if you just want to help a little bit, subscribing and turning on those notifications is a big deal. It really does help out. But either way, thank you very much for watching again. Have yourself a fantastic day. And until next time, take it easy.